Hey, y'all. Welcome to episode number 352 of the Goods from the Woods podcast. Uh, I've been saying this at the end of the past few episodes, but I figure I'd say it up top this week. This is a message for all of our patrons. I have sent out a direct message over there. Uh, Some people told me that they didn't get it. So if that's you, please feel free to direct message me on Twitter. Long story short, we've got a thank you gift that we're going to be sending out to everyone who currently supports us on Patreon, but I need some additional info. So hence the message. Uh, I'd also like to say that the thank you gift is also going to be for everyone who has supported us in the last year. Uh, I know that some of y'all had to dip out from the Patreon for financial reasons, and I totally get that. I want to send you all the gift as well. So again, direct message me either on Patreon or Twitter, just so I have everyone's info in one or two spots as opposed to all over the place. I'm making the cutoff date for this Sunday night at midnight. So again, message me by midnight on November 6, 2022, and I will be getting those gifts printed up and shipped out to y'all as soon as possible. Thank y'all so much for your support absolutely means the world to me. Okay, so uh, that's it for me up top. The Goods from the Woods, episode number 352 with our old buddy Seth Pomeroy starts right now. Welcome to the goods from the woods. My name is Rivers Langley. I'm Sam Harder. And I'm Carter Glasscock. And we are joined once again on Mike 4 by our friend Seth Pomeroy. Yeah. Hello, America. That's, Hello. <laughs> that's Seth's uh, catchphrase. Yeah, what's up, America? What's up, America? <laughs> that's right. Let's talk about identity. <laughs> <laughs> you and me. A lot of issues. <laughs> it's a, it's a, a political door, podcast. There's a door getting kicked down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> America just ran under its bed. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. I'm the friendly Alex Jones. Don't worry. I won't go total crazy. <laughs> <laughs> right up to the line. <laughs> Riding the line. Uh, well, shit, it's good to be back here. It's good to see you guys. I've been, uh, yeah. been out of town for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, doing shows down south yeah. and uh, visiting the, the fam. Hey. Yeah. How's that been? I, I hate to say it already, but you are just covered in sweat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking mania. I thought, oh, I thought this was going to be a hell of a journey if we're already sweaty. This oh, hour. yeah. Podcast the fam's gotten going smaller than like, it used to I'm be there. Maybe. Two I, minutes. <laughs> I'm just so excited to be back. <laughs> we make him nervous. It's like, no, it's like there's a guy in the closet who's like keeps like <laughs> like peeking his head out to rivers being like, like I'll fucking if you kill let you. people know I'm here then you're all dead. That's right. <laughs> uh, no, it was great. I uh, I did I did I did want to mention I uh, well I done, did a show in uh, in New Orleans at a place called the Hi Ho Lounge Ooh. and it was like the show was fine. It was very like uh, L A style show where it was, people were just laughing like ha 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 next. You know what I mean? Like, kind of hard mm. to hard to get a rolling boil, but everything mm-hmm. I meant to get a laugh. This is no average laugh. crowd of simpletons. <laughs> <laughs> well, you no, can't, no, you can't it's just do a little work for. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they were making me work. We're a discerning crowd. crowd. Yeah, <laughs> it was fine. It was a fine show. Afterwards, this gigantic, like I swear, like six foot five, six foot six, like country ass guy comes up to me and he's just like, "Dude, these liberal crowds can be really fucking hard, but I was with you, brother. I was laughing at <laughs> oh, everything. Boy. Hell yeah, <laughs> I love that. And I was just like, did I? black out and become Larry the Cable Guy up there? What the fuck? There will always be a I get it guy at every comedy yeah. show. It's like, no, but you, I understand it. Yeah. <laughs> this is why Even st- if they don't, they're like, this is my shot. This guy. I I well, this is, this is why stand-up's terrible right now is because it's all town hall meetings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. It's all town hall meetings. Yeah, it's, it's really I had nice. a guy last week who just heckled. He heckled like everyone. Then after the show, he came up to me. He's like, I thought we had a really good back and forth go. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, and then, Lord. And I was like, you should just try stand up. He's like, oh, I couldn't do that, but I could do like a back and forth type thing. No, sure, you could. Like, it's sure. free. No, you you absolutely yeah, can. Yeah. It's free. Yeah. <laughs> At that same show, uh, wow, that we convinced an insurance salesman to try stand up for the first time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, Wait, this what? is all very vaudeville. Yeah. What show is <laughs> going this? on? Oh, this is the Drunken Stoners Gardena show at Eureka Brewing Company. Oh, okay. I was right there on. last oh, yeah. week. I did like. 
it's almost 30 minutes. It was fun. Wow. Hell yeah. It was yeah. fun. I got to talk to a guy the whole time. Not the whole time, <laughs> but yeah, he afterwards, he came up <laughs> to me and was like, yeah, we were doing that well, we great did. thing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, when you told me to <laughs> shut the fuck up for like the fourth time, I was yeah. like, okay, I'm going to roll with it. <laughs> I know, no. <laughs> Right. Yeah, that's the best shit ever. I love the whole like we were trying to make the show better. We were just trying. To, anyway, <laughs> it's a. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, a, have you ever heard the phrase "you ever talk back in a movie"? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. or just the what it is, which is a monologue, which literally means one person talking. Yeah, <laughs> totally. yeah. What that means. Totally. If it slips into one person show territory, then you can. <laughs> yeah, then sure, but uh, by nature, this is. I yeah. started as a boy. <laughs> yeah. it, it goes into that. I love the 1940s traveling comedian. He's like, I'm just gonna sit in the crowd and find my partner. <laughs> <laughs> It's not, it's not the vaudeville circuit as it take it off, you know. You're and that need. was really great. We 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 formed a comedy duo. Yeah, right? that's right. Well, terrible, uh, terrible uh, time. We gotta, fucking, get, the drunk, that guy. We gotta get the drunken stoner on the podcast. Is that his yeah. the drunken Christian stoner name? Yeah, yeah, the drunken stoner. Oh, the Steven, show's named that. This is the lawyer Humboldt. guy. No, it's called oh. the drunken stone show. The lawyer's guy name yeah. was like Jeremy or something. Oh, okay, <laughs> he was there looking for prospective clients. Dude, we met him. <laughs> Dude, this is how we met him. We're fucking just blazing out in the drunken stoners. <laughs> Sure, right. like, yeah, you you like you do. Yeah. In the parking like high lot. school, and the parking lot's small, and this guy walks by, and he's like, "Oh, you guys smoking?" And he just <laughs> walked up and drunk, so I was like, "Yeah, dude, hit the fucking bong or whatever." And the guy's like, "Oh, I just went to the dispensary." We just start talking, uh-huh. and I could tell he's gonna be kind of weird at this point. After we like smoked for a second, he's like, "Ah, oh, dude, I needed a sesh like this." I'm oh uh, no. <laughs> Like I usually just have to smoke in my room and just chill out. Turns out he has a wife and kids in Indiana. Oh. <laughs> Other lawyers don't tra- get it. He travels a lot. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm what you call. Weed. These are some good drugs. I'm the drug stone guy, baby. I gotta hit the road. Yeah. <laughs> I'm what you call a fun lawyer. Uh, no insurance wow. salesman. Oh, that's an, uh, wait, who's insurance the salesman. Okay. What? Was there a lawyer involved? Oh, last night there was a. Oh my God, last night at the other Eureka <laughs> Brewing Company in thousand oaks there's two of them okay and, Small chain. and he's, and and he's running the comedy circuit sport local <laughs> business um yeah there's a woman last night who also was convinced to try stand up for her first time that's what i yeah. love about drunken stoner <laughs> is he'll meet some awful heckler or <laughs> something like, and right. be like you should try this <laughs> and oh. they for some reason do often oh, they do Lord. often oh yeah <laughs> so i could tell she was a psychopath when she first came up to me <laughs> And, um, I was sitting by the the basket of edibles that was free last night because it was oh Hall- my Halloween. Well, they're kind of they kind of asking better. for it a <laughs> yeah. little bit. Yeah, comedy can only get better no, with but really it, stoned. It was people. like full on packages. They were meant to just be taken home, not necessarily consumed on premises. You know, right? Okay. And she walked up. And she's Take like, this gun, but fire it when you're at home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she's fucking. I walk in and she's like wasted, but she's drinking like a can of Coke. And yeah. it's like uh-huh. it's, it's like seven p.m. and she's just faded. Whoa. And she walks <laughs> up, yeah. asks for an edible. Is like, oh, you have to just take the whole thing. And she's like, ah. Can I get in trouble for this? I'm a lawyer. I know I can't. And I was like, Jesus <laughs> Christ! Oh, Are you going to drive afterwards? Yeah. Oh, you want yeah. you want me to ask you what lawyering is like? Is and that the, it, lady? She starts <laughs> flirting with every guy there, and like the <laughs> disgusting, like drunk woman who just <laughs> yeah, uh, who's like going That's through a stuff. terrible time. She gets on stage, starts <sighs> talking about her ex husband, of mm-hmm. course. And um, <laughs> is like, and they said I was a sex addict and a serial <laughs> cheater and a drug addict, and they yeah. called me a sociopath. <laughs> Just like went down the Whoa. line of this guy. Whoa! Like yeah. the, I lay myself line. bare to the jury. Did she go into yeah, yeah. lawyer talk? Yeah. She what a great uh, joke. It was just like one of those things. <laughs> well, this is what happened. Like she's good at public speaking, and so sure. is the insurance oh, yeah. salesman. <laughs> yeah, oh, of course. Both yeah, of these yeah, people, yeah. like actually for their oh. first time, is like, oh, you know how to stand on a stage and yeah. you know talk into a mic. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that was interesting to see public speaking open mics. I'm just gonna start opening <laughs> up. She, public speaking open mics. She, Line up. You got something to say? You have she to give a, a presentation. Yeah. yeah, read a paper. You wrote. also this whole show is recorded and live streamed, <laughs> so she bombed oh, completely yes. and then yes. came up afterwards and she's like ah i know i bombed but like you could put it online and also what's the link to it <laughs> and all this shit whoa and totally. she's just a drunken mess yes. everywhere i like to think there is there's one guy collecting all this information being like you slip up 
One time. Oh, well, here's, here's, I'm gonna take your drunken stone do, set hold, and <laughs> send it to the judge. Ah, <laughs> do I'm you take it straight to the judge? Do you have to partake to be on this show? Because I I gotta see this. This is right up my alley. Um, is that I a requirement? You have you don't have to. Okay, but you will be judged. It's, oh that. sure, well, it's right. like anything For else. Clarity. You can go to a party and You're act and clarity. just act like you have. Like, oh yeah, I'm drunk. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> just, well, you yeah. Could, yeah, you could have a They're beer, not gonna be yeah. like smoke some breathe into this tube. Like they're okay. gonna you just oh, say, like, I'm say stoned out of my ass. That. Yeah, they'll say that, but you can say no. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice but, that yeah. you can still say no. And that's, here's yeah, you, you might be met with a really commanding, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> just do it. Oh, well, he'll he'll be like, Oh, you don't want any weed, but do you want mushrooms? Yeah, exactly. You know where I can find heroin? And here and here's just the rotten just absolute cherry on top just that ruins everything <laughs> she comes up to me and she kind of whispers to me she goes i i've been going through a rough last few days my dad died three days ago <gasps> oh. <laughs> wow oh, oh no dear. so oh, she's dear. at this bar just wasted bragging that she's a lawyer doing stand-up comedy for the first time killing it <laughs> Acting like really, and that's how you knew she is a sociopath because she was really trying to act like she had her shit together while she's like completely <laughs> mm-hmm. drunk at seven p.m. Oh, on a no. Monday. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this was and this is on Halloween, of course. Yeah, she was not oh, dressed yeah. up. She was not dressed up, unfortunately. But neighbor <laughs> is like, my were. costume is I'm a lawyer, <laughs> <laughs> and I want you to ask me about it. <laughs> uh, well, I've taken many corporations to trial. I I saw the greatest costume moment in stand-up comedy <laughs> history, I think. Oh, really? All, all of stand-up comedy history. Uh, so we got an edgelord comic who's a decently successful edgelord comic in like a small t- small terms, I mean, in the L.A. Mm. comedy scene. Chris okay. <laughs> <laughs> well So he's uh, in his true edgelord fashion. Dresses up as Kyle Rittenhouse. Oh, cool! Oh, of course, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly, oh, boy. exactly. Biting commentary. And yeah. So he, costume. he goes on stage. Guess what? The crowd doesn't like him. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> runs people the wrong the crowd, way. Apparently, the crowd yeah. doesn't think it's funny, and uh, uh-huh. and he starts trying to do his comedy, and it's just bombing, of course, because he's uh, they've just decided he's insane. Yeah, right? or an the, asshole. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> And so the funniest thing I've ever fucking seen, this should be like a Tim Heidecker <laughs> character. Uh-huh. <laughs> he just starts doing material and he's like, you know, I don't really like dating. Dressed as Kyle fucking Rittenhouse <laughs> on Halloween. <laughs> like, oh, I don't know if there's a woman in the world whose type <laughs> is Kyle Rittenhouse costume. <laughs> <laughs> like, it would be less surreal if just Kyle Rittenhouse was doing stand-up comedy yeah, yeah. about dating. <laughs> yeah, it would. It was fucking so funny. And the room was so full of idiots. Or, well, also people that just were scared of him. At the, nobody was laughing. Whenever, like, hmm. we should have been all laughing at him. Sure. Like all at one, I was laughing. I was fucking dying in the back. <laughs> <laughs> people were looking at me like I sometimes was when you laugh at someone completely making a fool of oh. themselves, it gives me courage to laugh with you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everyone should. Yes. Well, that's the thing. Oh. That's the thing about LA is people are too polite to each other. In Austin, <laughs> like in Austin, where I'm from, that person would be uh, laughed out of the of scene. Of course, yeah, like, sure. They would be sure. laughed out of the comedy scene. So this person like, has some sort of cachet. To yeah. But, Yeesh. Oh, f- Speaking of interesting, our uh, friend at Michael underscore McBride uh, tweeted at me right before I uh, left, actually, to go back down south about a uh, a, a new uh, I I don't know how new, but at least a new to me energy drink uh, company with a hilarious line of flavors and uh michael was actually like offering he's like i can send this to you and i was like i'll look around for it and <laughs> i i found it so uh <laughs> it's really important this is uh this is called rise energy r-y-s-e is this a boner energy drink <laughs> no no wait till you hear the flavors it's the opposite they have <laughs> yeah, i need so something that works it <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> makes you sleep yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! Uh, they do have a branded, uh, you know, flavor line of, of things you've heard of, but it mm-hmm. is so hilarious how bottom of the barrel these flavor brands are. Kool Aid, 
Uh, so whoa, that's the first one. Just is that a powder a, packet, just, no flavor. That's, and that's, that's Kool Aid. It's like Kool Aid, and that's yeah. uh, actual like cross promotion with yes. Kool Aid. Yeah, yes, can you is. even do that? Well, uh, yes, well yeah, yeah. yeah. That, well, well that's just, what I'm saying. Is yeah, like, so contract. now like Kool Aid is not a kind of fruit drink. It's just a drink. Did kids uh, used to bring Kool Aid to school, uh, you guys, and then they would lick Kool Aid and sell Kool Aid? I've seen people. that. Oh, that was like doing like a fun dip kind of thing, but just in kindergarten with their fingers. Get training for cocaine. Yeah, like legit drug shit. At least in kindergarten. Garden. I thought I Dude, it feels crazy when you put it on your teeth. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember people getting like nummies from Fun yeah, Dip and stuff like the powder, that because they saw it in a movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The hands of the I, powder. I've seen Anyways. people snort pixie sticks. Yes. 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 Yeah, I've I seen have that. Too. Yeah. I have too. Okay. okay, cool. Uh, second one is Smarties. <laughs> oh, nice. See, this, this, reminds, another me, this reminds me of the <laughs> uh, ghost energy drinks where a lot of their flavors are like yeah. uh, Warhead, well, Sour Patch yeah. Kids, Swedish Fish. Uh, right. These are all, those are all good. Yeah, but this is like this is almost as like one step down from it's, Sour Patch Kids. Like if if you have uh, Smarties I mean, isn't Smarties close to Pez, Pez, right? Smarties yeah. sucks. Uh, the other one is uh, Sunny D, and that's a classic uh, fake flavor. Yeah, it's fake exactly. flavored orange juice. Yeah, 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 yeah it's just yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like I don't know. All this just seems kind of bargain basement. Like they're all sure. still technically name this brands. Is some Aldi but shit. Yeah, it's like this yeah, Aldi yeah. Shit. This is the, this, <laughs> you get this out of a this bin. is some fun O's or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I had the Aldi energy drink yesterday. Oh, really? It's called gridlock. Gridlock. Guess, gridlock. It when it your stomach just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like when you blow your brains out in the car in the middle of five o'clock traffic. <laughs> gridlock. I can't breathe. <laughs> gridlock. My whole body went to gridlock. I'm gonna be late to my shitty job. <laughs> gridlock. Oh, it's okay. a two okay. for who's keeping track of it. That's a two for gridlock. <laughs> On the okay. Energy. okay. And then uh, finally, in the flavor that I've uh, brought for us today. Ooh. Ring pop. Oh my god. <laughs> ring pop. And ring but pop. there's many flavored ring pop. No yeah, well, like, many well, flavored blue cool well, this one's berry blast. Ring berry pop. Blast. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Okay. Actually, shit. I hate like lollipops because <laughs> okay. they're so hard, but I like the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> the saddest part is when you've eaten it all and you're just sucking on a plastic plate. I know, and you're like, oh, <laughs> what the fuck happened you to me? Ch- you chew the plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you like chew the Way nub to get into like the little the more. <laughs> yeah. There's some in the groove. Yeah, so you're trying to like just. Yeah. <laughs> Akin to what a rat would do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at it. Sucking on food. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like a rat sucking on a factory <laughs> titty. Looking on the corner of a plastic plate being like, there's still some something there. <laughs> Pathetic. Uh, so let's drink that <laughs> that shame. <laughs> and it has two hundred. <laughs> That's <laughs> 200 milligrams, I would just like to say, uh, of caffeine, which is not a bad deal. Ooh. Yeah, But I will say Ghost has 300. Yeah, Ghost has the 300. Ghost. This has 500 is, of is uh, Ghost taurine. like It's like Ghost Pepper. Is Ghost like the level of like, yeah. you, this is going to ruin yeah. your yeah. afternoon? Yeah, I don't know. It just looks like the little Snapchat Ghost. It looks like the logo. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's the, related. And it's all candy flavors, and it legit tastes like that stuff? Uh, yeah. Well, we've had a little uh, bit more we tried, than uh, Berry we, Blast. We, I think we tried the Skittles <laughs> one. <laughs> we tried the Skittles one on here. Yeah. Uh, or is that C4? That's C4. Never mind. Ghost is, yeah, Swedish fish. And, <laughs> I like uh, the sour. I like the sour. <laughs> ghost, oh, yeah. baby. I don't even remember. I'm going to see the Hooter tonight. I'm going to drink a shitload of ghosts. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna fl- I'll be playing pinball in my brain. <laughs> uh, please hold for everyone's favorite part of the show. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. If people said that's their favorite part of the show. <laughs> I know you. They say it every time. Rivers got his hand on the pulse of the people. <laughs> he fucking knows. <laughs> oh, that's too much. <laughs> that's too much of that fucking weird. Someone's getting the piddle. Ring pop. I'll <laughs> so take the piddle, please. Yeah. Ooh. It smells good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Ooh, I like zero it. sugar, so it tastes like something with zero sugar. <laughs> uh-huh. I like it. It doesn't have much of a fucked flavor up, up front. It's very light. And it doesn't have a crazy uh, aftertaste it's to like my a fucked up Sprite. No, it <laughs> just has the aspartame. It's like a diet right Sprite. Diet right Sprite. And a little yeah. urine. I don't think it I tastes... I gotta say, I, I like it. I think it tastes blue. It's all the The Baya Baba Diba. Blue, yeah. Dude, blue is The good one color. on good the taste. package is the tricolor. <laughs> Ring pop, so I think it's maybe the tricolor one, which it's is just pretty, every flavor. Yeah, yeah. I'm tasting the red. Yeah, I you know, I, I honestly c- don't like it that much. No, no. I mean, I don't know if I'd get it again, but <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. I wouldn't get it. It's, it's I, I gotta fine say, in this moment, as someone who doesn't drink energy drinks as much, I like this because it stands out as kind of a, more of a sweet treat than like something you'd. Like this, this amount of this is fine. It's not a, <laughs> like it's not if a I drink a whole can of this, <laughs> yes. yeah, it would be it would be a lot. Well, <laughs> this doesn't punch you in the face like a bang yeah. necessarily would. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> as Brandy yeah. would suggest. Yeah, you know what this is? This tastes just like it, drinking a melted down chilled Jolly Rancher. 
Yeah, it's all which the Carter season. does every Tuesday. Well, I do that's, that. That's yeah, kind of what a ring pop is. It's just got a nipple. In it. <laughs> yeah, it's just got a factory nipple that you chew yeah. on like a rat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they just suck onto you. That die is, in a fucking that gutter. Is the craziest <laughs> description you could have gotten. Yeah, that's truly what <laughs> I think about a myself. Liquefi- that's what I wait, a liquefied Jolly Rancher <laughs> that's also cold. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> it's lean. It's lean. It's lean. Lean. It would mix. It would mix. Yeah, did lean give you a boner? I thought lean gave you a boner. No, lean. It makes your dick. <laughs> it makes a curve. <laughs> You're like, this is just, this is some sort of. <laughs> I thought it was a bird key fit, but it's a lean. <laughs> you know, mate. I, I quit smoking like a month ago. Who wow. knows? Ooh, Ooh, like round of applause. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I'm gaining weight in an astronomical weight. He likes them too, so it's hard. <laughs> oh, I do love smoking <laughs> he so loves much. Him. He loves them. Um, and, but, and who knows? This is like the eighth time I've tried to quit. So who knows what it'll take? Yeah. But. I, I feel like I've been doing this bit a disservice because I can't taste the difference between any of the shit. <laughs> because it all just yeah. tastes like He fucking... was a drug addict the whole time. We all thought yeah. he was above board, but he's really doing it. <laughs> my, I mean, my fucking mouth just yeah. tastes like a fucking... Can you smell yeah. stuff better now, too? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. I can smell like mildewed shirts in my trunk now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, exactly. <laughs> but so this is like a flavor explosion to me, but maybe uh, they've yeah. all been like this fruity. I don't know. Uh, maybe uh, they've all tasted this blue and I just couldn't taste it. I think so. Well, according to their website, Rise was nothing but an idea. A, a dream. <laughs> but it didn't stay there. <laughs> Success in life, as well as in the gym, begins with the winning the small daily battles. <laughs> They're trying to relate to their audience. The gym, you know, you drink yeah. this shit and go to the gym, right? <laughs> <laughs> the gym, you know, playing, <laughs> you ma- playing video games. Yeah, yeah. The gym. Energy and health, they go hand in hand. <laughs> <laughs> Manufactured yeah, just, health for poor It says <laughs> drinking this at 2 p.m. at your office job. So the it's last a- couple hours feel a little <laughs> fun. Yeah. It's yeah, a, yeah. It says we're yeah. here here for the fighters for those who don't take no for an answer that's right we're here for the self-taught the self-made and the self-reliant do your own research that's america not, no. sounds like all right yeah, yeah like, it's not not very all right i <laughs> added that last part <laughs> okay, but it's yeah, do your own do the very, research we do it for the patriots <laughs> they're lying the about the virus so. oh. <laughs> ivermectin of sodas we are here to Ooh. fuel your come up story and we're in your corner telling you to get back on your feet with products that are pure powerful and proven to work we don't sell <laughs> shortcuts proven to work work my ass <laughs> we just make the long road ahead as productive as possible oh, so yes yeah, well, so, nice now important. get a hold of our candy <laughs> good <laughs> like, god listen to any come up story <laughs> even one that was long in the making <laughs> like octavia spencer <laughs> uh, <that's>, hey, <laughs> fueled by lots of like, <laughs> rice michael, <and> shannon. <laughs> michael shannon <laughs> michael shannon yeah uh, it took a while to break into the industry but he did it on the back of rise energy like, drinks i feel like if you wanted to quit drinking you could drink this shit on the rocks and tell yourself it's vodka or something <laughs> oh, you could walk around your house in your bathroom and be like it's Sort of the same. Well, that, that's kind of that's kind of Liquid Death's whole appeal is like mm-hmm. their cans look like I beer cans, that. so you can still party. With oh yeah, that shit, that shit works though. They're just yeah. like it makes kids feel like they're drinking a beer. So uh, like yeah, <laughs> which is what we need from <laughs> yeah, the carbonated yeah, right. water. Yeah, right. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I feel like it's just for guys who are like, I don't want to hold a purple Lacroix can. That's <laughs> <laughs> stupid. Yeah, yes. I want a flaming skull on yeah. a black can. Man. Totally. Well, and it's also a. a probable cause to pull you over because it does look like a beer so totally it's a great tool for cops because they can be like oh we thought you had a beer that's why we mm. shot you all those times i always wonder that when i'm <laughs> yeah, walk- that's right. when i'm walking around with Liquid an energy beer. drink and i'll just crack it on the street or something because a lot of people here, here just walk. It's <laughs> heroin to you? Well, they're like, I just light up well, right there in front people. of my smoke crack in front of a child. I did it in front of my, front of my mom the other day. <laughs> I told her, deal with that. Uh, no, well, people ahead. just walk around drinking all the time over here. Especially sure, right. in Vermont. For sure, yeah. So yeah, a lot yeah. of the times I'm like, do people just think I'm drinking Hell yeah, they do. when I'm walking down the street? <laughs> having a delicious rise energy <laughs> drink? <laughs> I mean, they might, yeah. No, it's a sunny D. You can So Seth brought something to my attention uh, oh, yeah. a couple months ago. I've been wanting to talk about this uh, <laughs> this musical artist. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. this is very stupid. So it? when you told me about this, I sent one of these to our friend, <laughs> uh, uh, co-host emeritus, Dr. Pat, and he <laughs> immediately texted back like, oh, 
you know about Viper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's Viper fans out there. Yeah. So this guy, uh, he is uh, a, uh, a musical artist or rapper. He is based out of Houston. <laughs> uh, artist, an entrepreneur. Right yeah. on the songwriting, but the songs might happen to be 13 minutes long. <laughs> yeah. So uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, he's got a blue check mark next oh, to his name. I'm, look look, how, go I'm to, looking through the albums, which well, well, that's, that's the thing. Yeah. Let River, the Rivers uh, lead you that. Yeah. How many fucking records this man has made? Yeah. So it's uh, somewhere in the neighborhood. Neighborhood of two thousand albums, albums. He albums. thinks they're albums. He thinks uh, he made that many Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young, Deja Vu. Yeah, uh, he thinks he made that many records. So, do you know about Viper, uh, Sam? I don't think so. Okay, uh, can I tell you my first impression was just him going. Basically, I have whatever. I'm looking for music all the time on Spotify. That stuff I wouldn't find other places. So I'm just listening to random shit all the time. And this song came up, and it's literally like nine minutes of going. They don't like me because my hops. Yes, they mad at me because my hops. I'd like to go to sleep, but my hops. <laughs> he just does that for like nine minutes. And I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and he's like mumbling and whispering, which I guess is a, a style of like SoundCloud rap or some shit. Uh, but yeah, as soon as I heard like the fifth minute. Cloud rap. Is cloud what rap. Call okay. Yeah, or, yeah. or vapor wave. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's basically like if you were half asleep and you didn't know how to write a song, this is what this is what your song would sound like. Yeah. <laughs> and there are, uh, as we said, uh, 2,000 albums. Uh, yeah. from no this clue guy. what he looked I don't have any clue what he looks like, where he's from, what his deal is. Oh, uh, he's got he's got a picture right here on the. Uh, he has a picture on every he album old cover. Guy, uh, he is fifty one years old. Oh, and Whoa. he was his hops. He's been dealing I, with his hops. I was for a long time. I was really trying to fi- <laughs> I was trying to figure out uh, to what extent he was involved with DJ Screw. Oh uh, wow! In is the, this the guy well, that's that legit? Is like you cowards? Uh huh. <laughs> Crack. That's him. Yeah, yes, cowards are, are scared to yeah. smoke crack. No, you're getting the title wrong. It's yeah. uh, Yule Y O U apostrophe L L. You all, Yule cowards <laughs> don't even smoke crack. Brrr, which is the name of bitch, it. what's up now? And yeah, I do know. Yeah, this guy. yeah. So <laughs> cowards. He, so he dropped that song in 2008, <laughs> and then it kind of took off in 2013. Whoa, okay. And ever since then, he's just been sort of slowly escalating. Fuck and yeah. he actually made an album every day in 2015, like 365 records uh, or maybe it's, i think it was 363 i think yes. it missed two days Why not? <laughs> this modern age is, is wonderful and also disgusting and terrible uh, <laughs> anyway, you're like you know i was gonna write a song today now nah, i'll write 25 of them <laughs> and get some clip art and maybe make an album called girls are badass with two z's volume two or whatever so the, the question is <laughs> doesn't count how is he the song is still living. going, by the way. Like <laughs> he's living pretty game. hard, according to these. I mean, like, <laughs> does he like inherit? Did he inherit some money or no, something that enabled uh, him to well, make an album every day? Well, or? no, it's uh, no, it's it, fuck. it's mostly scams, and we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, okay, really? okay, okay. Oh yeah, God yeah, yeah, damn, yeah. this is gonna be a murder mystery. Story. Yeah. Uh, so there is a whole uh, Reddit uh, devoted to Viper and his daily doings. They don't like okay. him because it's hops. And uh, <laughs> there's somebody put together the complete Viper discography. And it's Whoa. on a Google spreadsheet, and there's like over 2,000 entries. Reddit, baby. Holy shit. And we out here. Man, some of the best album titles ever. Yeah, list uh, those. Those are so yeah. good. So uh, there's 2,000 of them, so I'll just, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> there's 2,000 of them. All right. Up, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so there's. Really let them mumble into your ears. <laughs> <laughs> so there's uh, To Burn a Cop Alive. Uh, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> and the follow up, yeah. To Burn a Police Alive. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, sure. uh, still on it. Okay. Be clear Two girls. It. <laughs> one viper. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> I'm sure it was topical at the time. Twenty four carat poon. One through three. One through three. Uh, <laughs> wow, I like that shit too. Where he's like, "This is the Godfather Part Three of poon <laughs> control or whatever he was talking about." Poon searching. As far as rap songs, those are good titles. Ain't yeah, I, right? Ain't, yeah. ain't I seen you in a porno? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a great. That's my opening line. Yeah. Every bar. These are like fucking <laughs> anal seen- cunt. Song. Exactly. Oh, I know. Yeah. And yeah. the album covers are like Photoshop, like it's just like rider po- girls in front of like a cloudscape or something. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like Times New Roman, like pussy. Well, it's pussy him. Hunt. Every one of them is called. like a selfie that he took with the front facing yeah, camera. Yeah. So it's all kind of blurry. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, all of the ladies all of the time. <laughs> uh, the size of them. Anonymous sex one through six. Mm. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> one through six. He's uh, had a lot of it. He's, he's, got, a, he's, a, he's got a lover's a lover man's rap sort of uh, thing <laughs> yeah, going on right. here. Yep. Uh, he's got aquatic hose. <laughs> aquatic hose. Uh, <laughs> he's, <Avatar. laughs> he's got cops can't read one through six. Cops can't Fuck read. Yeah. <laughs> Are those songs Fuck on that you, album specifically pig. about cops, or is he just at the end of the day going, oh, oh, this listen. one's called Cops Can't Read? Who <laughs> listen to that album? Right <laughs> Who knows? Now? Yeah, and I think yeah. just play a second of uh, just to see how aimless it is. <laughs> I mean, it's and been... unentertaining when you listen to it for nine. Well, it actually it does that thing where it's like. It just keeps repeating itself to the point that you get locked into the re- repeating of it. Then it's kind of awesome. Mm-hmm. But I want to know if there's a lot of pre-planning or concepts behind what this guy's doing. They're all like an hour <laughs> long. Like all the albums are. In. I'm looking at it right now. On oh, by the way, my friend at, at work, uh, Angelo, was telling yeah. me about Viper too. Viper is kind of oh making, really? So he knows about know, Viper. Yeah. Well, I guess if you make two thousand fucking records, someone's well, gonna hear one so, of them. Yeah. <laughs> so the thing is, like, he is he's obviously extremely prolific and he is credited as being like one of the originators of like the cloud rap yeah. subgenre. No because, money in that unfortunately but sure. well that's all right so <laughs> oh, we do fuck. have to talk about the money situation I uh, in can, a moment. can I give two of my favorite oh, yeah, albums? Yeah titles? please yeah every yeah, yeah pull, drop pull, a viper uh, on him. <laughs> my gun is set to auto schmegmatic. Whoa <laughs> <laughs> now that's an idea I'll give him some pre planning yeah. credit he on worked, that. He, worked he wrote that down, down. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> he wrote that down yeah. at some point. Um, I love the jiggly parts of women. Whoa yeah <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. That and then, rules. And then, <laughs> That's also what I pick up like. It's it's his own <laughs> spiritual sequel to my humps. Yeah. 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 And then the jiggly de- parts of women. Let's call what de- they really are. Define his titties this side <laughs> of Dot, dot, dot. Oh, <laughs> he left you wondering. <laughs> no, he makes you finish the yeah. joke. Yeah, you yeah. side of uh, I'm not, the he's Mississippi. Not, he's not here Mason to spoon feed you. Line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> he's he's using the spoon. He can't feed you. That's he's right, using right. it to, uh, you know. To burn some crack. To make crack no. cocaine. Uh, it's I have made it's girls have gushing place. white juice or castles. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that's great. That's like an eighth grader oh, saying that somewhere shit. right now <laughs> to his friend. And then the first oh. track, her gushing white orgasm for you only. Wow. Uh, I like how the title really straight from the original voice. Shit, to that get more on. specific. I want to hear that one. <laughs> for yeah. you only. And then, and one of the songs is called Enjoined Wit Riches. <laughs> <laughs> Good <laughs> God. <laughs> That's the kind of shit when you find it's like Amazon Prime. When you find some uh-huh. fake Amazon Prime movie, yeah. you're like, "What is this horse shit?" Like someone made the yeah. weed ghost story or whatever, and they're like, and it's like yeah. what, it's like all fake clerks or something like that. Uh, my favorite album title, by the way, "Dreams of My Seven Sons," Cobra, Maka Son, Whoa, Die Man Back, Wow, Boa, Slython, Rat Rattlesnake, <laughs> and. and Serpent. <laughs> Whoa. Nice. That's I pretty good. Now, which, Serpent yeah. is right there, but that's fine. This is much like Bob Pollard. If you take away like 60% of this shit, you <laughs> seem right. like a genius. <laughs> All the other 60% in there, I have to judge. Well, you. that's the thing. But it's like if anyone's <laughs> making that alcoholic. much shit, it's like any, <laughs> the most atonal motherfucker in the world. If you make 8,000 albums a day, you're going to you're gonna run into a yeah. listenable track. Serpent. Yeah. 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 Pop up. Well, so, I mean, and we made we made mention of uh, Yule Cowards are uh, uh, afraid to smoke. <laughs> crack which yeah, is yeah, which is song. easily his like yeah, you know biggest uh, thing and uh so uh, challenges the audience <laughs> this is his most challenging work yeah, he dude. challenges the audience to smoke really crack is. so <laughs> i could not figure out how this came to pass i believe there might be a british uh record label like doing this for him somehow he printed that on vinyl <sighs> in the last year the song the yeah. the album oh, that album that yeah was on. okay yeah good. like his the most popular record at all it's on vinyl, and, and Angel- one of Angelo showed me something about this. Yeah, and so basically, oh. uh, there's been no, no. Uh, big problems afoot uh, because he is selling this record, and uh, people are not getting the record. They are getting burned CDs with like torn pieces of posters that he's signed, and just kind of like whatever. What else do you want from this man? Right. Well, yeah. so that's the thing. <laughs> that's almost better. That sounds great. Well, yeah. There's apparently there's Worth a picture the of some guy bringing a copy of <laughs> Yule Cowards. Don't even smoke crack. Mm. To a like autograph signing of that Freddie Gibbs is doing. Oh yeah, and Freddie Gibbs is like laughing and be like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, I, he's like, "I work really hard and write, write yeah. a lot of." I mean, he thinks it's funny, but he's just like, "I've never you want me to sign this." <laughs> yeah, 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 that's cool. Okay, okay, <laughs> that's so wild because he has zero to do with anything like that. No, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's hilarious. That rolls. Uh, so here's some. Uh, this is some highlights from uh, Viper's uh, Reddit page. Uh, oh, oh, wow! This is from two years ago. 
Oh. I got Viper's phone number off the internet like four years ago. Yeah. Which, which guess what? I did too. Um, mm. so, oh my God. Uh, Good from the Woods fan. So hold yourself back. Don't call this man. <laughs> well, no, you'll you'll know why in a moment. <laughs> uh, I got Viper's phone number like four years ago to help him make some album covers. I found out that I still had his number on a whim. Me and my brother called him at like 2 a.m. our time, and this dude answers, and we hear him ordering fast food, and we say, What's up? And he hangs up. LOL. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got time for your bullshit. He's got to yeah. make 72 records tonight. Uh, yeah, he's <laughs> Jack in the box yeah, fuel. Sorry. I'm going to get these cheeseburgers <laughs> and get to work. Y'all cowards don't even smoke crack. He's uh, fueled on rise. Yeah. <laughs> this guy rule. All right. Smear, smear sees 13 days ago. My friend and I spoke with him on the phone back in 2015 when we were still in high school. We each tried to get an endorsement from him as a joke when we ran for class president. He was cool, but asked us to invest $10,000 yeah. in him, and he'd do it. Asked us to ask our parents for the money. Fuck yes, mm-hmm. Viper. Yeah, why mm-hmm. not? Don't some fuck with his hops. Some kids are trying to waste your time. <laughs> Just yeah. be like, hey, are your parents rich? <laughs> exactly. We can fuck with you. Since I've got a line <laughs> on you now. <laughs> uh, this guy says... He's actually only scammed me once out of the four times I sent him money. <laughs> Three out of four isn't bad, to be honest. Hell yeah. yeah, for a guy like Viper. And so that was actually a response about the interview thing, because I do have the his The four phone. times you sent him money, it's like, mm-hmm. sounds like you got, like you got played, man. Oh, sounds like got you played got played once. Yeah, by yeah, Viper. Yeah, yeah. Those are good. Well, I mean, well, that's, that's the thing. You even, you support the artist no matter right. what. It's not like you, you can even play a burn CD. Nobody has a fucking <laughs> CD. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> but that last thing was in response to, because as I said, I do have his number, so the next thing you'd be like, well, we? does this lead up to you calling this? Well, man? no, no, no. That well, I'm going to tell you why. You know, I've got his number, so you would think like, oh, maybe we should call him and try to get him on the show. We should. Uh, he oh. char- he charges forty nine dollars for an interview. <laughs> Whoa, uh, that's a pretty good number. Hey, that's weird. A, Between us, we got forty nine. No, for sure. I will. I would absolutely give the guy forty nine dollars to talk to him. But yeah. I just love that that's the number. That is insane. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. forty nine. He's not like fifty. Fifty is some he's bougie cultivating shit. his brand as like a weirdo. And yeah, I love for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Forty nine dollars. Hey. I gotta kiss your grandma. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, we're talking about him now. <laughs> this guy Viper. says uh, I bought tickets for a Viper concert in Lubbock on November twenty fourth. It says the concert's at a bar in the airport. Did I? Get scammed. <laughs> Whoa. Viper was at that airport bar just hanging <laughs> out, though. He was just like, hey, what's up? <laughs> Bro, in Lubbock, that could be like the second biggest venue. I mean, honestly. Uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, Sam yeah. This guy responds to him. He says, it's very possible he got scammed. Viper was selling tickets for a venue near me without ever contacting the owners or getting permission. God, what a beautiful world. You just rip people off all the time these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and all you gotta do is make 12 more records. They're like, yeah. well, he, was, he was busy. Lay down on your bed and just like rap into your computer. <laughs> for an I've been hour. doing this for years. My hops. I've been talking about my hops since day one. <laughs> this song's called. I've never found a song in it. This song's called <laughs> the gushiest pussy snake <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Uh, uh, I found one of his very good tweets. Uh, he mm. says, "Oh, he tweets. Okay, oh, good. he uh, tweets all the time. Whoa! I am Black Jesus. I am the truth and the light. No man goes to the Father but through me. Don't be like most men and have a child with another man's baby mama. <laughs> Live hashtag flawless and leave a flawless whoa. legacy. As in, I'm in life task three." The hornus of death. So be your Scientology. <laughs> so let me be your crack dealer. Uh, wow. Okay. New Jesus talk different. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I like. By Jesus. the way, here's a picture of Viper. Oh yeah, I've never seen Viper. Oh yeah, yeah. Shit. He's bald. He's oh, buff. My God, he's, he and he's like definitely some in his 50s. very old yeah. man, like Melvin Van Peebles. He's fifty. He's fifty-one. <laughs> Holy yeah, hell. yeah. But he looks uh, like he's older. Looks he's like, like uh, he's you know. My he's father's slowly, sixty-four. It looks way better. He's than that. well. That he's uh, keep in mind he taunts people for not smoking crack. I was gonna That's say. Yeah, I mean, he yeah. does call people cowards. Yeah, yeah. smoking crack. He's had a hard time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Viper made mention of this uh, in the tweets, but I wanted to get to uh, the last thing I wanted to mention, which is uh, the hornus of death. So. He does have an album is that called like a Horcrux, or uh, is it close? Not quite. Uh, so he actually does. He has an album called The Hornus of Death, uh, and uh, this is this is how it's described. Uh, he <laughs> many albums. He is slowly killing himself with a contraption that he calls the Hornus of Death, a series of tightly wrapped <laughs> girdles crushing his internal organs. Did he uh, watch like Hellraiser or something? Lovecraft, and like Lovecraft. Shit. So yeah. you'll see it. He's got his. He's got like his stomach wrapped. He looks like DDP from like the late. Late nineties WCW, <laughs> uh, but he's wearing like a bunch of girdles. Uh, and his tweet says, "The hornets of death." Two smallest women-sized body wraps, which is smushing my stomach and internal organs to make small. 
Whoa! <laughs> New Jesus has got a health plan too. Uh, so he got up to uh, five. Sucks. He got five harnesses going. So he had five different like Jesus. girdle wraps going, and he said that he was preparing for death at its hand. And then he got in a car crash and had to take them off uh, when he got to the hospital. Whoa. Yeah, uh, they were like this saved your life. This these, is yeah, <laughs> these are, yes, yeah, your organs these are so things. small. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You survived the car wreck. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Ironically, ironically, were ironically, the car crash did save uh, his life because he would have just had this smooshing his it internal happened. organs. But he would have farted in his eyebrows when yeah, he disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be horrible. <laughs> I don't think he could squeeze it, it things to be that small. Yeah, but he, he got to the <laughs> hospital and they were like, we have to take off the harness of death. I'm sorry. I believe uh, in this yeah. man's work even more. I mean, so he's a big conspiracy theory nut, too. He is indeed, yes. Uh, as evidenced by his 2018 opus, Dethronging Reptilian Psyops. Oh, yeah. Sleep. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Big. I like the less political stuff. Sort of like yeah. Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. Don't beat us over the head with this. Just I like, like his love just songs. Just us for not smoking crack. Yeah. <laughs> the religious phase is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like his... What his, he thinks he's Jesus. That's a cool religious yeah, phase. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like his romantic stuff, mostly. <laughs> like, bitches, bitches, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. And then the number five, because I think he did misspell <laughs> It's on three exclamation points, then the number five. Then the number five. Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, I love it. Or maybe it's the fifth edition of Bitches, yeah, bitches. This is a record label. Oh, yeah, that's, probably, that's probably the actual case. <laughs> that's probably it. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> They're on some more of his music. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. tired of talking Let's about this guy and not <laughs> jamming. Right. This is the hit. You yeah. This is. See what I mean? This is your little brother, Abby. Right? <laughs> He's a little self for you, busters. Yeah. <laughs> He's a little self for What's up with that? <laughs> I'm sleepy. Yo, beep, cause beep, cause beep. Don't do this old crap. <laughs> I mean. I, I, I grant you, it's no. Uh, it's well, you. He's not, he kind of wraps off <laughs> beat. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. You can make a hundred records if you're just talking. This guy. Very, <laughs> oh, Wesley Willis does change the game. He very clearly has a lot of ideas. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, like, who's gonna be the first rapper who's like? Gonna do like some wackadoo Gonzo idea, be like, you know what, Viper's gonna feature on my song. Yeah. Like someone's gonna do it. minutes to really get his flow off. <laughs> <laughs> How much does he charge for features? Also forty nine dollars. <laughs> Everything's forty nine dollars. Uh, the, there's this trash threat. bag full of crack is forty nine dollars. There's this YouTube, all $49. YouTube personality <laughs> named Crip Mac, and he's from Fifty oh, Fifth yeah. Street uh-huh. down on Western in Los Angeles. Ooh, and he does collabs with people, and he always charges people either like five hundred and fifty dollars or fifty dollars. <laughs> like $55. Everything he charges Fives. has to do with fives. Fuck it, as I many times as you can get it in there. <laughs> That's good shit. I did want to mention that at one point he was uh, <laughs> texting back and forth with a, a lady, and then the uh, lady, Viper? huh? Viper. Viper? <laughs> uh, and by lady, I mean 17 year old. <laughs> oh, and, they were ready for his hops. And, Literally mm, not ready. And her, legally. her dad <laughs> took the phone from her and like bitched him out, just like wrote this huge thing like, fuck Whoa. you, you creep. And he just wrote 17 is legal in Texas. Cops. <laughs> He's like, I've done the work, yeah. bitch. Uh, Eat a dick. I'm going to write eight records so, about this right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Between so, writing out. Called, this girl's day. dad ate shit, volume so, six. Not the greatest guy, but. Uh, <laughs> well, also, I mean, Viper? Also, I also, also pretty, yeah. as a former Texan, that is not true. <laughs> <That's> a, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as a man who's been incarcerated for this exact thing. It's not, <laughs> just kidding. They cannot, you, I got to stop looking at Viper out. There's too many of them. There's a lot. Like, It sucks you in, yeah. I told Rivers about it, and then I was like, just look at his discography. And that was pretty much where I left it. And I listened to that song a few times, but I never really figured out what his deal was. So that's so hilarious that <laughs> oh, there's that, that much information about this I, murderer psychopath. I, you know, I, I don't, God bless him. No, no one is ready for the hornness of Ooh, death. <laughs> the horn, that is the coolest thing. I mean, if Robert Plant did that, I'd respect it. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, he's just screaming and yelling got, about pussy. How do you think he got so skinny? That's true. <laughs> He made all his uh, organs small. Like crack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Crack. The crack has more to do with it yeah, than the girl. Hops. I uh, went to sleep for my hops. <laughs> <laughs> I had to eat for my hops. <laughs> like, is, this, is that it? That's what, right, you're done? My hops. They want to see me conkers of my hops. Shot in the donkers of my hops. And balling no. We 
we have a segment on this show called Top Three. Ooh. And uh, this is where our uh, listeners at the Goods Pod write in and ask us to uh, compile very uh, hastily assembled top three lists on various topics. So uh, we'll start off uh, going over to the UK. Shout out to our friend at Mampers84. Top three movies of 1999. And I've been sitting on this one for a minute Ooh. waiting for Seth to come back on because I know man. I know Seth's my, my movie buff. Well, I'm a nerd, folks. Yeah. Yeah. One specific thing. Yeah, I, I compiled mine. I'll run through mine real quick. Uh-huh. Mine yeah, I'm curious. Basic as fuck. Number three, Magnolia. Sure. Uh, mm-hmm. If for no other reason that it's a movie that's Every time I watch it, you because it's three goddamn hours. Yeah, you get new things out of it every time, sure. just yeah. by the nature of it. So you know, first you might be focused. Obviously, like Tom Cruise's character is probably the most captivating, so <laughs> and then at this point, it, you know, at, at this age, I'm like, oh man, Julianne Moore is really just killing it here, you know, like or whatever well, it's very it is. Intense. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So there's there's just a lot to like, and it's a movie I probably thought about the most. I think yeah. from that year, you know, because it is a year filled with great movies, but a lot of them are. You know, the Matrix is like, wow, man, what a cool idea. Game but changer, it's, bud. But it's yeah. not something you think about forever unless you're like, uh, you know, total like right wing psycho. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Carter just looking. Me, at me, 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 Sam like, just got really nervous. <laughs> like, you don't believe we're in the Matrix. <laughs> right well, you, know, you weren't uh, you weren't captivated by that movie. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was. No, I just mean it's not, uh, you know, it's, the, no, it's no Magnolia. The only, the, <laughs> yeah. the only thing that's kind of interesting in reevaluating the Matrix is now that both Wachowskis have come out as trans. You're like, oh, this is a movie about being trans. There is a lot of it, yeah. Which is ironic Mm -hmm. considering that that whole like red pill thing is just like, fuck all the women and gay people and you're like, yeah, the the human beings uh, uh, I'll take it. Right. The people who made this movie uh, could not disagree with you more. Yeah, Uh, totally. Number two, Office Space. That was a fucking hilarious movie. movie. Uh, Indisputably hilarious. One of the best soundtracks of all time. Yeah, Ghetto Boys. Got me into Ghetto Boys and Perez Prado. Uh, So Mambo Music and Mm-hmm. You know, like Houston hip hop, at like the age of thirteen or whatever, was That's the awesome. was the final uh, straw movie. and d- definitively labeling Diedrich Bader as funny. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. Very funny. <laughs> uh, that's the overall bigger man. Don't you fuck it up my life too. Yeah. <laughs> Which guy's that? Oh, the guy from Lawrence. Lawrence is from you at least, neighbor, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you at Beverly least, Hills Hillbilly is the movie. Come on. Can classic. you at least oh, yeah. pretend we can't hear each other through the walls? <laughs> that's right. I'll tell you what I want, man. Two chicks at the same, same time, time, man. Like in that <laughs> delivery, the best line delivery ever, because he's so <laughs> serious about it. It's awesome, yeah. <laughs> and uh number one, uh, uh R.I.P. to Mike Shank. We mentioned it. American movie. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. Mike Shank. Because great you know year for uh, movies but great year for documentaries we got uh, american mm-hmm. movie we've got buena vista social club and we've got beyond the mat like yeah beyond the, the mat yeah, yeah. the best goddamn docs ever came out that that same year so that's that's my uh that's my list uh if mm-hmm. you want to hear more about american movie go back uh just put up our 2015 episode of what did you learn uh when mike shank passed away up in the up in the feed so yeah uh, he hear was all awesome. about it yeah, oh so learn? good yeah what do you got carter number three the out of towners <laughs> <laughs> With Steve Martin and Goldie Hawn. Fucking Classic the, uh... fish out of water story. <laughs> yeah, that's right. these, ki- these, these, these crazy kids just want to get back to their hotel. Uh, they don't like know Carter where they are. Loves Carter's simple, but he's, he loves it. He loves that's it. right. Number two, Ed TV. <laughs> <laughs> This he, this is Mc, so Mc, funny. McConaughey didn't quite reach the the peak of his powers until Ed uh, TV. I gotta Ed say, TV, baby. I gotta say, Ron Howard directed Ed TV. Mm-hmm. I fucking like it more than Truman. Really? Show. I fucking do. What? Oh, really? I my do. God. I, saw it came <laughs> out, but I, I watched it more. I'll say yeah, that. Truman I'll Show. T- you know what Truman Show has going for it? Ed fucking Harris. And he's there's a million Ed Harris movies that he's awesome. Oh, Ed yeah. Harris is great. Yeah. Another Ed, Ed TV. Yeah, Ed yeah. Harris TV. I'd watch that movie. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. The number one. <laughs> number one. What would that movie be? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, where's the scotch? It's just him screaming. <laughs> and his kids are like, they left years ago. Well, honey, they left. They don't live here. I would just watch <laughs> I would just watch, you know, Ed Harris just kind of being vaguely evil, you yeah. know? Oh yeah. Just walking. He's gotta around. be very angry. Yeah. What I like about Ed Harris is, you know, the abyss, James Cameron like is notoriously pushes people too far and stuff. But they had these tanks of water and they had to go under for a really long time. Right. And they come back up and Ed Harris is so yeah. furious about it because they left him down there longer sometimes and things like this because they were like we almost got the shot. And so he will refuses to publicly speak about that movie in any fashion. <laughs> I mean, any, to this day, they'll be like, 
well, what was up with the abyss? And he's like, off the table, not talking about that fucking movie. That fuck that guy, fuck that movie. Here's here's where I'm giving credit to Jim Cameron. I I'm terrified of Ed Harris. Oh yeah, in any context. Yeah, Jim Cameron's hardcore man. He will yeah, fuck you, fuck your world up. You mess with him. Uh, Oh yeah, remember that when you get cast. (laughs) Hey, I imitated him one time at the uh, uh, prestigious uh, Avatar two show. Oh yeah, immediately got. I had to get in his head. (laughs) He got served papers immediately. I had to get in Jimmy Cameron's head, and it was a scary (laughs) place to be. (laughs) Yeah. That's right. His real friends call him Jimmy. Jimmy. They know they call him Jimmy Jam Cam. Jimmy Jam Cam. <laughs> Jam Cam. They call him Jammy Keem. Uh, number one with a bullet. C- come on, everyone knows. <laughs> Everyone's awesome. waiting to say it. Hey, Baby you. geniuses. Oh, <laughs> uh, directed by Bob Clark, who who directed mm-hmm. the Christmas Story right. and uh, fucking what's that great Christmas Halloween movie? Black Christmas. Black Christmas. Yeah, Bob Clark Christmas Story. Black uh, Christmas. Black Christmas. Uh, Christmas with the Cranks. <laughs> way <laughs> further up. Baby geniuses. That's right. right. Yeah, Christopher died Lord's died in right it. afterwards. Oh yeah. What a what, what a one to go out on. It's <laughs> like you know. It's like it's his uh, it's his a love supreme. Yep. You know what yeah. I mean. It's yeah. his, uh, it's his uh, right, fucking right. you know uh, whatever. Uh, what are, and but you know I suppose uh, my real ones are uh, American Beauty, Magnolia, The Matrix. So that's uh, all right. That's, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Which are very. Uh, 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 t- Toxic now. <laughs> All three, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's white. I do like those Someone's movies. Someone's straight. The Someone's Matrix. Carter. <laughs> the Matrix. The, you don't find the first hour and a half of The Matrix intoxicating. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, it's awesome. You should review. Channel, the first like. hour and a half is great. Oh yeah. my god. And interestingly, last time I flew from Seattle to LA, I, mm-hmm. they had The Matrix on in the little uh, touch screen. Mm-hmm. That is the exact length of a flight from Seattle to Los Angeles. I started the movie Whoa. right as we were taking off. Yeah. As we were landing, Rage Against the Machine song hits, and he flies I, out of the phone <laughs> booth. I was going for a sheer <laughs> amount of times you've seen the movie. Sure, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. seen all three of those movies like many times. That's yeah. true. And yeah, also, that- Magnolia is so much better than Licorice Pizza. It's just... It's, I mean, well, yeah. I so do th- think Magnolia is super flawed, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it's him aping Altman, like, so he, hard, he, but... He no, loved I, to run his mouth when he did, like, okay, and you could smell it all uh, over. Oh, yeah, shot. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Everyone who speaks well, that is, everything. That is, I agree. That is the definition of, like, blank check uh, mindset, where yeah. it's like, I did Boogie Nights, uh, I'm untouchable. Totally. Well, at I least can he do was, whatever I want. At least he wasn't trying to make his Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, though. That's true. Uh, he was trying to ape Altman, not Tarantino, which is different. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But Tarantino's like purposely aimless now. That's like his goal. He's like, yeah, there is yeah. no fucking movie. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Interesting. You just like my style. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what do you know, So this is complicated. Uh, I, I will say this is the fun thing about this year. So I worked in a movie theater in this this year in film, okay? So this was when I got really introduced to major Hollywood filmmaking. What, what's Question. That? Yeah, how old am I? What was? <laughs> no. 76 or No, old. no. Question. I was 32. Uh, describe Phantom Menace Day. Oh, Phantom Menace oh. Day. Oh, man. Well, I didn't work in a movie theater when that came out. I think oh, okay. what, what, what that was came out that? in May of ninety nine. Okay, so it was shortly after that, I think, because my brother was obsessed with it, and I know that we. My brother was a manager at a movie theater, so I know uh, it had played, but I did not work there. Oh, okay, I, I was just th- imagining anybody who was working in a movie theater in ninety nine has like a PTSD yeah. Phantom Menace. Uh, no, thing. Toy Story two. The opening day of Toy Story two was fucking insane because <laughs> this new movie theater opened. Oh and everyone, yeah, I worked at a smaller movie theater. We all migrated to this big <laughs> giant like super mall, which is now like. Sunset Boulevard house that's like destroyed and got fucking like yeah. you know, yep. dead animals and fucking ferns overgrown. Well, I went and saw Back to the Future there uh, like last year and it was like the most pathetic. I was like, I opened this place and it was like a fountain. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like a bubble fountain. It was like insane. But anyways, 1999 was a huge deal for me because it introduced me to mainstream film being very creative, very diverse. It was one year that that happened and uh, I was tricked because yeah. I was like 16. So I thought that's how movies worked. So this year is insane because if you look at this shit, Sixth Sense, Matrix, Office Space, Blair Witch. There's so many different Blair kinds Witch. of movies yeah. Yeah. that were all widely distributed. You know, like right. so 1999, the year in film, 1,000 percent fucked me over. <laughs> it uh, set me back by 20 years, and I should have moved out here earlier. But anyways, uh, because I thought you could make super creative indie films, and that would get wide distribution. Like that literally was maybe the last year that really happened. Like, yeah, Miramax stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, this, not just Miramax. I mean, the whole pipeline of <laughs> yeah. film festivals and, and how they bought oh, yeah, films. Yeah, yeah. Everything changed. Uh, obviously because of streaming and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, they'll never right. make any of these kinds of movies ever again, basically. So, <laughs> so enjoy the Steve. list because it's a good year. Um, okay, so I'm the obvious ones are, are I think, what uh, combination of both you guys are saying. Sure. Mm-hmm. American Beauty, The Matrix. Uh, mm-hmm. and what was the other one you said, Carter? Uh, uh, Magnolia. Oh, yeah, yeah, Magnolia, of course. Uh, so I'm going to just like just, those are the three historically, yeah, of course. 
right? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. And attack, then, attack on a Fight Club. And yeah, and now. specifically... So I, I haven't rewatched Fight Club in forever. Have you not? I, I mean, mean, I loved it in high school, but I haven't it's seen it in a long time. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. got a lot of shit attached to it that makes it suck, obviously. Well, but like, very <laughs> similar to The Matrix. It's like totally. the, the people who are too into Fight Club have completely misunderstood totally. the fucking totally. message to- of that totally. film. It's all about toxic masculinity, but they take it as this thing like, we should actually beat the shit out of each other. Yeah, totally. Well, it's like the Wolf of Wall Street people be like, no, it's saying this is good. You're like, no, no, they're psychos. Yeah, they're bad. Totally. It's a satire of this kind of shit. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, so yeah, I will say mine are going to be, well, I think I can't leave Office Space off the list just because it was, it's so great. And mm. it's, it's one of those movies that's like, it's just as like iconic to me as like Airplane or, you know, like it, yeah. or Naked Gun or anything that's stuck around that we still are like, that's one of the funniest movies ever made. Yeah. You know, I, like I would dare say one of the most influential types of comedy now. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that kind of like soft spoken, uh-huh. character driven but well, still jokey. Yeah. Right. A little well, more cartoony than what people do. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. It's cartoony, but it's also like, you know, every workplace comedy that's being made now, which yes. is like yeah. finding anything redeemable about the soullessness yep. of like a corporate existence. Is if anything, totally. the office is a sterilized version of office space. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, yeah there's yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, I think the bottom line is too, is like I was like in 1999, I'm 17. So do I want to work? Fuck no, of course not. So right. everyone's like, this is the greatest we ever made. Work does suck. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like right. everyone's like, we agree. It that sucks. was the tagline. Yeah. On the DVD. Work it, sucks. That's because they know everyone knows it sucks. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say <laughs> Rushmore. Oh, uh, wait, that's 98, though, right? And it's on this uh, list of the nine, 1999, the best movie year ever, which is a wonderful book okay. everyone should read. Okay. But, but this is a list based on that, so I would assume yeah. unless gotcha. this person's a dickhead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wonderful movie. Rushmore though. Rules. I like Wes Anderson, but I, I, he does the same thing a thousand times, and I don't care after Rushmore, kind of. Really? Right. Not really. Ten, uh, Tenenbaums is still my I favorite. think it's cool, but it's kind of like... It's like Casino to Goodfellas. It's like it's really, really cool, but it's like an expansion of the same thing, and maybe not as interesting or as creative or as ballsy. But I, li- I just think Rushmore's the fucking best. I still think it's great. I haven't rewatched it in a million years, so maybe, it, maybe it's, maybe it's dated. It's so funny or yeah. lame. But I, I, I just remember seeing it in the theater and being like. This guy's an amazing filmmaker. And then, you know, it's now, most quotable. Now too. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Unlock it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to get weird on it and say the limey, which oh, is yeah. a fucking wonderful Steven Soderbergh movie. That's I, I knew you were going to when, when I was looking through the list of 99 movies. I was like, so you, good. Seth is going to pick the line. Uh, I worship that movie. That movie blew my yeah. fucking mind. And I also worked at a theater when it came out. I saw it a million times. I watched yeah. it a billion times. It's so good. It rules. If you haven't seen it. Great crime movie. Hell yeah. I um, watched it on Crackle. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it on Crack. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's how crack you know you're desperate for a movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Crackle's the worst. I know. They put There's like so eight many ads. Of, ads. Dude, you know, it, it, it kind of ruined the experience, but it was a great movie nonetheless. Was, <laughs> Joe Dirt 2 is a Crackle exclusive, so you need to know uh, <laughs> what's going down in Crackle spending. They're like, we have money for Joe Dirt 2. <laughs> 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 anyway, anyway, so that's my... But everyone should read that book. That's a great book about 1999 and movies and stuff. So. Hell yeah. Okay. What do you got, Sam? Sam? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you sent me this top three list, and I had to go do the Drunken Stone show. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stoner, so we all know what happened there. This became very not important to that's me. That's fine. Very fast. <laughs> <laughs> but all the movies you guys said were good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I loved cool. Office Space. <laughs> I loved The Matrix. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. know. It was a scary movie out that year. I actually think it was. It's, scary. it's, it's 2000. Scary it's, 2000. Yeah. It's, it's right in the same time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, let's count that. Yeah, let's count it. <laughs> so listen to like I almost like pre came. It's 2000. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite. Uh, 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 oh, God. Uh, I'm like toweling myself off, off right now after that. <laughs> Tidbit. Uh, the Iron Giant also rules. Great oh, movie. Brad Bird, oh, yeah. Election. Election. Oh, Election. Yes. That's, that's what I mean. So crazy, all these weird different movies. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's, what a time. That's a Alexander Payne, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was, yeah. That was, yeah. The, was last, the, the last time he was kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, he's also I, a guy who gets really into his own shit. And I, I didn't say I'm that. I'm a douchebag and I love Sideways. I love Sideways. Okay. Yeah. Good. Sideways is yeah, one. Sideways I take that back. Good. I take that back. Yeah. 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 Giamatti's killing it. Yeah. Oh, he's the best in that movie. Oh, my God. Tom St. Church is great. Everyone's great. I like Lady in the Water. You seen that? Paul Giamatti. Did you ever see Cosmopolis? That Cronenberg movie? He's in it in the end, and <laughs> boy, the dialogue of that movie is inscrutable. Yeah, six, yeah. And six Cents. Six Cents. Yeah. And Six Cents is yeah. 99. That's right. When yeah. that movie came out, that was fucking nuts. We're going to move here because everyone was like, don't fucking tell anyone. If you hear anyone saying shit, stop them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it was one of the only movies. I mean, what was the movie previous to that? Like Rosemary's Baby or some shit? Yeah. Or don't you know what I mean? Twist, you're like, yeah. oh, no, you can't know. Like, that was such a huge deal with that movie. And working at a theater with people coming out of the movie being like, what the fuck? It I got to say, dead. you know, it's in, huge. In terms of recent movies, 
even though it wasn't as much of like a fucking throw you for a loop as mm-hmm. Sixth Sense was. But it was fun to engage in that again with like something like Barbarian. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Exa- it's fun to be like I'm like swearing yeah. to like it, a, it ruins it if I like gave it away. Yeah, mm-hmm. Malignant was the last one. Yeah, Same thing. Or, like, or even like something so stupid like uh, what's what's the goddamn Matthew McConaughey movie? Um, it was Lincoln supposed Lawyer. to be so ridiculous. Yeah, Lincoln Lawyer. <laughs> Ed TV. Lincoln Lawyer. Ed TV. <laughs> oh, no, Seren- Serenity. Serenity, yeah, oh, that has boy. a big twist that's so it's so like insane stupid. and so stupid. Ooh, but uh, you don't want to give it away because you want to you like kind of be, have to yeah. You have to experience it. Yeah. I'll, I'll just say uh, yeah. uh, what my uh you know comedian former roommate uh, Emily Faye said about that movie. She's like, It's as if you were watching It's a Wonderful Life and at the end everyone was robots. <laughs> like it's that much I heard of it, a shit. I heard it's that uh-huh. much of a like it sh- it changes genres. Oh, like, she told me that. Has it just become the Firefly movie? Serenity. No, no, no. <laughs> no this she, was the other movie. She, she told me that, like, came in the door and said that. And I literally like looked at my phone. I was like, oh, I can make a 1045. And I went and saw it immediately. Yeah. Just based on that, I was like, all right, this That's sounds awesome. bad shit. Yeah. And it was bad shit. It wasn't good, but it's, it was bad shit. Sometimes those movies are just about seeing how bad shit it is. And that's the fun of it. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Next one is uh, right. at the Nick Shades. Shout out to Nick listening <laughs> out in the goddamn Inland Empire. This one is... Top three classical music pieces. I want to say thank you for the suggestion uh-huh. because I didn't. It's like one of these where I li- like I just went on a top fifty classical music pieces. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, oh, I know that one, <laughs> and <laughs> I, I didn't know. Yeah, didn't <laughs> know like, the title, good. and then you listen to it, you're like I absolutely know that song. It's like uh, you yeah, know of all of these, yeah, of yeah, course. yeah, because um, we were all we came up before Bugs Bunny was canceled. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> No, uh, that's true. The sad, it's sad but true. Most of the shit is just because I uh, watched a, an insane amount of Looney Tunes. Totally. And that is yeah. uh, the reason, you know, Looney, I, Looney, I do. <laughs> Looney Tunes is spelled T-U-N-E-S, <laughs> is it was originally cartoons were a way to sell sheet music. So oh. so they would put that on oh, and you'd shit. have the music going and then it was like, oh, uh, you can buy this from Warner Brothers Publishing. And, and uh, it's a, it on your piano. That's why it's, yeah, <laughs> tunes. Uh, time. But I do, uh, yeah. I do have two that's organic cool. ones I I that I came across by seeking them out, like two hipstery uh-huh. choices that aren't on that top 50 list uh-huh. but they don't really qualify when you listen to how like ubiquitous all those ones that are on that yeah, list absolutely, are yeah absolutely for sure uh, so uh, <laughs> I, that's a uh, <laughs> few release uh, by oh, yeah. yeah I think we should just yeah. do a guessing game or yeah, yeah. <laughs> as we say yeah. because this is classical easy now I just, <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'd put that on the on, on the honorable mentions for your lease. Uh, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, uh, what's up, Elise? But yeah, no, uh, I got uh, Johan Strauss, the Blue Danube. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. So there's the there's the Blue Danube, and then the unrelated Strauss, Richard Strauss, uh, which is uh, the 2001 A Space Odyssey theme. Also, yeah. Brecht, oh, of course, Skura, yeah. Which I think is going to be one of mine, just because it's the most iconic. Wait, wait, which, the, uh, oh, of course. And then the big tip Fuck yeah, drums. Mm-hmm. When I go hiking out here, it's well, actually. Too. <laughs> it's the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I take my dick out and go, I am God! <laughs> <laughs> then I jump off the cliff. <laughs> Sand. Uh, music can inspire you to do things. <laughs> it sure uh, is, yeah. <laughs> this is also... Uh, Y'all cowards don't even smoke crack. Yeah, yeah. Fuck <laughs> Y'all cowards don't fuck even do you smoke know? crack, man. <laughs> I need to put one of these in here, though. Woo! Because this is also Rick, Rick <laughs> Flair's <laughs> music. I was on an air horn. Yeah, that rules. That makes me want to. Yeah, that makes me want to like climb a mountain, beat a guy up. Uh, Definitely makes me want to watch two thousand. Raise a child. Makes me want to raise a child. Makes me want to raise a child until it's on its deathbed. <laughs> but I'm still alive for yeah. some reason. I want to pick out my coffin to that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, those, those are uh, my number three. Uh, Musagorski Night on Bald Mountain, which Ooh, I, I'm not also. even going to be playing that version. That's probably best known from a. <laughs> Fantasia. That's every night of my life, but, Bald Mountain. But yeah, <laughs> I've been living nice on Bald Mountain. That's what I call myself, baby. Ooh, Line like, up for Bald God Mountain. Damn, Oldest ride, longest <laughs> line. Um, 1999. <laughs> I went up the Bald Mountain, never came down. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so 1999 is <laughs> a significant time, year. <laughs> I went up the mountain. Oh, uh, shit. Two, two of mine, uh, <laughs> including uh, the Musagorski one, are both marked by the fact that they are included as a disco version on the Saturday Night Fever oh, soundtrack. Oh, disco oh, wow. classical wow. music is good. Stuff. This is. A night on Disco Mountain, which fucking owns, dude. Got that Giorgio Baroder shit going. Oh my god! <laughs> Have y'all ever heard this shit? Dun, 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 this is like Halloween dun, 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 music. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. This, this is, is like when you walk into like a Halloween store. Yeah. This is the shit that's yeah. playing. Yep. Oh, the drop. <laughs> 
Viper, where are you at? You well, got your okay, new song. I know, this is some fire shit. <laughs> Sleep, uh, eat, eat, food. <laughs> My dad <laughs> called <laughs> us. Is this one of the Batman <laughs> movies? <laughs> uh, it should be. What is it in? Batman, Batman and Robin? Like Sounds the Adam... Like, uh, what's his oh, name? Oh, Adam West. Adam West, <laughs> Batman. Adam yeah. West version. My number two, uh, Mozart's Requiem. He didn't finish it. Uh, Mozart is, uh, you know, obviously uh, the original emo kid. Uh, wrote, yeah. wrote his own funeral dirge. Uh, Fuck yeah, my chemical <laughs> romance, same thing. Mm-hmm. Totally, yeah. I mean, that is kind of what it is. He, <laughs> he fucking died at 35, buried yeah. in a pauper's grave. Fucking I mean, totally. Uh, awesome. Yeah, just uh, listen to how depressing this shit sounds. And this is just like the classic, like, uh, you know, I believe this is what's playing when it's, uh, <laughs> well, the year before 99, where it's Mr. Lebowski is in seclusion. Oh, in yeah, of course. Wing. He's in exactly yeah, seclusion yeah, in the yeah, West Wing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. So good. Oh, uh, man, that was 99, wasn't it? Or 98? 98. 98. 98. 98. Uh, yeah. But uh, my number one, and again, it is, uh, is it just because there's a disco version? Perhaps, uh, but <laughs> <laughs> this shit. This <laughs> we shit, really just like this. Guy. I mean, yeah. hey, sure. they, they were trying stuff back then. Yeah, I think it, cocaine, I'll, lots of cocaine. Yeah, they were trying. You stuff. know what? Swinging. It, it's, cocaine, and I have to imagine. I don't know. I, I can't remember if this. It might actually predate Star Wars, but you know they made the disco version of the oh, Star Wars sure. song by Miko, and yeah. it was such a huge fucking huge. hit. Yeah, um, it became man. a thing. But uh, anyway, uh, this is uh, a fifth of Beethoven, based on the Fifth Symphony, there it is. Uh, dun, dun, dun. which. Uh, Prob- oh, right. Oh, probably yes. best known in uh, Eastbound and Down, where Kenny Powers is at the prom and goes, work, drugs. <laughs> yep. I mean, yeah, yeah. I it, mean, was it, egg, it was egg rolls, not the ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is a great, great part. <laughs> Cannot fuck with just. Uh, yeah, just- this is good. Why don't Beethoven, we eat your heart out, you fucking I dead. No, I mean, hey. <laughs> but yeah, if it's yeah, a, you're missing a, a, funk, a disco band to yeah, play this song. This is yeah. fucked up. Fucking key. Oh, buddy, that's so good. Yeah, that's what I want to uh, do most of my time. Shout out to Al Murphy. Uh, but Wait. yeah, so that's that's my very basic bitch list. Of that rules. Musa Gorski, yeah, uh, Mozart, tired. and Beethoven. You're fine, uh, very we tired. were allowed to use sampled songs. I would, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. How many raps I'm just telling you why I like it. What you got, Carter? For me, number three is Carmina Burana oh. O Fortuna <laughs> aka <laughs> Oh that's good <laughs> The Hell Song <laughs> Carl uh, Orff Carl Orff Carl Orff um, any scene like a, just a, a scene of like people like shopping in a grocery store <laughs> immediately becomes apocalyptic oh, yeah. Yeah. if you put this over it yep. uh, and if you like had like a field with like butterflies and shit <laughs> it's this something is, fucked up something like happen. an asteroid's about to come destroy the earth because this this shit is playing <laughs> I love how it's, it's the most dramatic song maybe ever written uh, yeah it's like I mean um, yeah, and then it has like that big thing at the end where like the and all the clangity shit it's uh, it's very, yeah, it's uh, very satisfying. Yeah, I like it. Nas, mm-hmm. hate me now. Hate so. me now. Samples that, yeah. Oh, did, oh, okay. Yep, yep. Oh, that's right, dude. Yeah. I used to love that song. I, I, I ate lunch across from Nas the other day. Seth ate lunch with Nas. That's yeah, awesome. it's, I know. And like uh, Holly knows that when that shit's going on, and there's a famous person near us, I'm like, just don't fucking tell me. Like, let's just eat and whatever. And if I, if you want to tell me at the end, then maybe I'll look. But I don't want to fuck with anybody. So I'm like, I'm not interested in being like paranoid looking at Nas. Being like, look, he, he licks his fork like I don't get it. So, uh, I, it's also you love. I mean, me too. Yeah, love Nas. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, King's 100%. disease. Well, this is the fucking funniest thing about it. You know the reason why I knew it was him? Right. The mole on his nose. Uh, <laughs> I was like, that is that's Nas. a fan. Yeah, that's so a I went to use the bathroom, and, and Holly just texted me when I was in the bathroom and just said, "When you come out, there's a guy sitting in the booth. You will know. Look if you want to. We'll talk about it later." And I said, "Cool." So as I walked out, I looked and saw the mole, and I went. That's Nas. Uh, <laughs> yeah. and then I sat down and went, that's Nas. And she's like, yeah. And oh, I was like, shit. oh, crazy. And it, it was not like a super nice place, but by any means, I got no goddamn money. <laughs> so, uh, but he, I mean, he was just chilling over there. And I was like, wow, that's insane. I mean, how much goddamn <laughs> incredible, like, <laughs> yeah. life-changing music is that, out. dude? Yeah. I mean, his yeah. brain is full of words that later I would be like, wow, that's, that's really smart. Like I, w- I, would, <laughs> I wish I was a server just to tell him that he's better than Jay-Z. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to be like, rock, life, rock life forever, bitch. You are, <laughs> I'm representing, yeah. bitch. You are better than Jay-Z. So. Anyway, so that was a beautiful oh. moment out here. <laughs> <laughs> really touched me. Uh, number two for me, teen heartthrob Edvard Grieg. <laughs> oh shit! Um, is a little a little tune called "Pier Gent Sweet Number One Opera Forty Six Morning Mood." Oh yes, now, of course. If you were to, now, this is the music that happens right before <laughs> the thing that happens on uh, O Fortuna. It it is this. You hear this? 
Yes. <laughs> this is Bugs Bunny. <laughs> yeah, this, this Bugs Bunny. This is Elmer Fudd hunting at this the beginning is, of the episode. You could have to care in the world, and then boom, you're adopted. <laughs> 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 Something happened. Oh, that's what you this is like kids the, you adopted them. Yeah, this is like the <laughs> lulled into a false sense of security song. Yeah, um, for sure. Almost stupidly, which <laughs> yeah. I this is like this is like the soundtrack to life pre-pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then the yeah. <laughs> But this is like everything like we we didn't appreciate the time before oh. when it was just all morning mood. Sweet summer children of 2019. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's good shit. That makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> That's what uh, made me happy. <laughs> that, that, God bless Ed Vargrieg. Ed Vargrieg. <laughs> um Number one, I mean, it's of course it's fucking the Star Wars theme by John Williams. It's just, <laughs> yeah, it is. Right. It just fucking right. is. It always get it. Yeah. It turns me into a fucking twelve year old every time I hear it. And I'm like, oh, I'm hot so blah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fucking shit. Th they've the Disney Company has been mining so much horse shit from this song <laughs> for <laughs> the last like yeah. fifty oh, yeah. years. <laughs> it's because John Williams wrote uh, him and Vangelis. If the Blade Runner soundtrack, but John Williams wrote the best movie score of all time. Yeah, and it's the, the most iconic movie score of all time. And, and it's it's funny because you know we've already like kind of mentioned disco. That's that was yeah. what was happening was at the time, and, and mm -hmm. he had to fight for this. Yeah, like the movie studio was like, no, nah, we got to give him like some funky music, uh -huh. and he was like, no, I want this to live forever, please. Like, totally, yeah, totally. yeah, and it did, and it, and did. it did. Yeah, and this is, I mean, this you know. this this cast a million people. Yep. Into lifelong virginity, right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, and it's a gr and it, and you know what? It still gets me going a little bit just hearing it now. Well, as yeah, I'm talking it does make it. you want to be a swashbuckling. It's a yeah. it's a wonderful song. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. honorable mentions on the nature of daylight by Max Richter. Ooh, very, yeah, yeah, very sad, go. lovely song. Yeah, um, Carter's a nerd. That's where we find out tonight. Oh yeah, baby, nerdy as hell. And then uh, music for eighteen musicians. Pulses, oh, yeah. the first track from Steve Reich. That's right, Steve Reich. He's uh, pretty cool. I like that stuff. Makes you want to do drugs. It's very fun. <laughs> uh, very circular, very satisfying. Yeah, I do drugs, so yeah. Hell yeah. It's fun. It's fun. I remember tripping mushrooms and listening to that with my friend and being like, oh man, my brain is shit. And uh, <laughs> so it was uh, listen to music for 18 musicians by Steve Reich. It, it'll, yeah. it'll, it'll melt your brain. All right. Seth, what do you got? You know, it, it's it's all movie crap. So That's it's fine. like hey, anything I'm That's Bernard Herman, Herman, Bernard Mine's Herman, Bernard Herman. Mine's Bugs Bunny. I yeah, said that up top. Uh, Bernard Herman all day long. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, Tax Driver doesn't really qualify as a classical soundtrack because That's there's great, so much yeah. horns, yeah. like there's so much saxophone use. <laughs> but I mean, coming from an orchestral standpoint, well, then the Vertigo theme probably. Ooh, I mean, yeah. uh, I, just as Taxi Driver though, like the shifts and moods. Oh, like, I mean, that's <laughs> like one of my favorite. It's uh, so great of all time. It's gorgeous because it's like it's very bipolar on purpose. Yeah, uh, and it's the scary. way it simmers and boils is like fucking frightening. Yeah, uh, I mean, he's like one of the greatest uh, composers we ever. Ever made people, you know, scared. He's yeah. the king of doing that shit. And much like, there you go. Yeah. Much like John Williams, very much a lot of storytelling going on with the music just because it's the score doesn't, like, he's taking over scenes. Right. You know, totally. Yeah, yeah. Carrying the storytelling. Uh, so Bernard Herman always gets mad props. Right there. Listen did, to that did you do Psycho mm. as well? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. And Psycho is mm -hmm. obviously the really big one. That's the famous one. Yeah. Um, which has been also, like, you know, redone at billion ways right, right right my brother always my brother is a huge classical music fan so i grew up uh -huh. listening to holst the planets um we'll real welcome serious. to space that's right yeah <laughs> carl space. sagan's cosmos <laughs> uh, yeah yeah. Uh, yeah what a magical journey across this uh lean back seascape of stars. <laughs> um, lean back in the planetarium seats and stare at the ceiling and <laughs> yeah feel up the one you are with <laughs> <laughs> During really this made. boring science presentation, <laughs> cell phones and extraneous museum. items will be collected at the beginning That's of the what tour. I'm talking about. <laughs> um, oh, and you know what? Fucking a! I know exactly what the other thing is. Andrew Copeland. Oh, and Aaron Copeland. Aaron, I'm sorry, Eric Copeland. Or no, is it Eric? Aaron. Aaron. That's why it's Aaron. Is it? Okay. Uh, what do we? Aaron Copeland, and and it's the Hoda? song that opens fucking he got game. Is it fanfare first. for the common man? Uh, yes, that's I believe the, that's, that's it. the real famous uh, piece of Copeland's here. I know Eric Copeland. <laughs> Do you know Eric Copeland? He's my weed from him. No. <laughs> yeah, I know Eric Copeland too. He's a real dick. No. Uh, Rest in peace to <laughs> Eric Copeland. <laughs> I'm gonna find out. The, I'm gonna look. He got game soundtrack really quick. 
the thing that's really cool about he got game is he uses Aaron Copeland music mixed in with Public Enemy, uh-huh. and that's the whole soundtrack, and it's fucking amazing. Oh, this is okay. yeah. I mean, this is this they is the, just started there. Yeah. Ooh, baby, this shit gives me goosebumps. This is mm. good. Oh, this man. is good. Wake that up in the morning, nice. feed the fucking chickens. Let's get it going, kind of shit. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> Yeah, it gets you know he's got a he's yeah. like a real American. Oh sensibility. yeah, although I will say if I'm uh, if I'm going uh, Copeland's, uh, I, I go hoe down and I go the, of the Emerson Lake and Palmer version. Oh, they suck so bad. <laughs> Brain salad surgery, my ass. <laughs> my stepdad gave me uh, Emerson Lake and Palmer record. And was like, you'll love this. <laughs> and I was like, I will never love you more. This fucking record. <laughs> My brother and I were like, this sucks. <laughs> what are you talking about? Anyways, America's most famous composer, Eric Cole. All connected in movies, of course, because what did I do? I said I don't watch movies. Hey, nothing educated. wrong with that. What do you got to say? <laughs> what do you got to say? <laughs> <laughs> I got the Tetris theme song. Oh, <laughs> fuck yeah. That's, that's right. A, fuck yeah. That's a song, right? Yeah. I oh, yeah. It's classical it's music. To me. <laughs> That's a song, right? That's the <laughs> highest thing I've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> That's a song. I mean, get some violence. It is a video game soundtrack, though. So. It is classic. It's playing on that, yeah, of course. <laughs> is it as iconic as, like, Super Mario? There's nothing nothing more iconic than Super Mario, yeah, right? Even Mario's like underground song is, is just as iconic. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah like you know, like that's that's good work. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Your Moonlight Sonata. That's oh Ooh. yeah, that's mm-hmm. good shit. I remember in Resident Evil you have to play it on the keyboard or on the piano. <laughs> to get yeah, yeah. That yeah, that's good shit. In the first Resident Evil? Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is, it is. This, is, this is uh Beethoven's emo stuff, I yeah. think. <laughs> A little bit. Yeah, this is his big time moody. Oh, yeah. This is Joy Division phase. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Yeah. Right? yeah Yum a dumb dumb. Very nice. Yeah, this is what, yeah, every time I go through a breakup, that's what I put on. <laughs> <laughs> and I just count alone. my belongings. <laughs> <Leave> <laughs> me alone. Yeah, smash cups. Uh, here it comes. Maybe, maybe America's at this at this juncture now, post uh, O Fortuna. Now we're in the, the movie <laughs> Bib part. Fortuna. Hopefully, Bib Fortuna <laughs> from Star Wars. <laughs> every time so. I thought it every time. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. Every time I turn on the classic musical station, whatever they're playing is usually yeah. pretty decent. Yeah. I turned it on last night when I was coming back from Thousand Oaks with Jared Levin, and it was a good time. <laughs> with Jared Leto. Mm. <laughs> and he, were, he was like, let's do a shit on a blow and listen to Bar Jared Leto for Symphony. Sure. <laughs> Jared Leto for sure plays yeah. his own music it in was, the car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. It yes. was, no, he was, uh, he was painted as a juggalo, but it yeah. was. <laughs> uh, That's beautiful. Oh, man. You guys shared a great moment. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Shout out to at the Nick Shades. Thank you for that question. Thanks, um, homie. Yeah. And uh, Carter said he did research for this other one. Sam was saying it, that we already covered this. I couldn't we, find out if we oh, did yeah. it. We not. might not have done it in a top three, but oh, yeah, okay. I've talked so much about it. No, that's this. true. That's yeah. true. Well, the we're all fat, so. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it's at, uh, I want to shout him out because he did write to us at Nick Foppy or Fop, F O P P E, top three sub sandwich franchises. So yeah, we, we have discussed this, but Carter said he yeah. did, did some research. Uh, Carter, so loves by research, I mean, Subway. I eat it all Subway. the time. No, and okay. I just, it just so happened to be He's one of the questions four shits yeah. today. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I got, a, I got a, a, a mean one broiling, too. I got a real. <laughs> Got a real mean one on fry later right now. <laughs> Sandwich is backed up in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so top three. I, I, can I? Yeah, sorry, let's I'll, roll with I'll just starters. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Top three sub sandwich franchises. First of all, I want to say it to the to the people in the back. <laughs> okay. Fuck Subway right. sandwiches. Oh, but he ate. You ate. Them I so eat it much all the goddamn time. Okay, all right. But you fuck them. Their money. They're bad. Fuck them. They're bad. They're, it's, 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 it's the D list. Yes. But they're just everywhere. It's they're like fucking Star- omnipresent. It's Customizable. Like, it's like Starbucks. Like it's not that it's good. It's that it's there. Yeah. It's just everywhere. It's, For sure. Yeah. It's ubiquitous. And now, ubiquitous. It's mm-hmm. expensive now. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. twenty bucks. You can uh-huh. go get a regular sandwich from a non-chain place that'll be better for the same price. Oh, totally. cheaper. Fuck all that. Yeah. I worked at one. I know how nasty that oh, shit is. Worked at one. God, that was damn. my first job, but I worked at a subway. That's hilarious. Oh, oh man, you love I, that shit. I did that too. <laughs> Por- uh, he Por- loves it. Don't, Portrait don't. of the sandwich artist is a young man. <laughs> yeah, no That's right. I ate a turkey sub from the Jimmy Joyce, and I was like, okay, that was whatever. The next time, I was like, oh, I'll go Black Forest Ham. Oh. I yeah, it fucked me up. Any of the oh, specialty so. stuff. It's like, yeah. well, that's just the ham sandwich, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. They just try to 
call it Black Forest. They're not like <laughs> yeah. one step above baloney. Totally. I like, I like so kind of like what's going on the Black Forest. All these pigs just wandering around. <laughs> it makes That's me think of like black is. metal, like Dark yeah, yeah. Throne, kind of say. like Black Forest. Yeah, I've, Black Forest pig meat is the most I've, delicious. I've been, I've been to the Black Forest. There's, I didn't see any subways. There weren't pigs running around. Up. It yeah. fucked me up. Do not get the ham. It's, <laughs> it's like Love it's it. not. It's not like so offensive. That I will. I mean, I will eat Subway a million more times in my life. But when just, you're in a pinch, yeah, when whatever. you're in a pinch, yeah. when you're in a pinch, yeah. and it's, it's like Chipotle, right? Don't right. go out of your way to get it. Totally. There are some totally. towns out there where that's the only restaurant yeah. in town, and it's attached it's to the gas station. Yeah. 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 yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But the top three sub sandwich. Yeah, yeah. yeah he kicks his... Subway out the fucking top yeah. three. Tell, Tell us what three, you do. Dude. Tell us what you do like. Street uh, prejudice. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, unpopular pick for number three. I like a Quiznos. Oh, I'm Quiznos. I like a I'm fucking down. Quiznos, dude. I, I ate at one about a year ago for mm. no other reason than I didn't know they still existed. Mm. And I was like, well, I should probably eat at one. <laughs> Yeah, so there's was, one right up, right up Vermont. It was fine. It's, a, it's it's fine. They toast the bread. It's yep. it's the only thing it has going for it is better than Subway. Oh, they yeah. got <laughs> right, right, right. well, they totally got market checked by every sub shop starting yep. to toast things. Yeah, that was Twi- Quiznos thing. And then as soon as Subway got the oven, totally. Yeah, but they don't have a chicken carbonara <laughs> thing though, and there that's pretty good. That's true. Quiznos number two. <laughs> Jersey Mike's. Okay. Yes. I'm, oh. Jersey Mike's is so much better than Subway. Hell yeah. To, yeah it is becoming close. as omnipresent as Subway. Yep. Yep. And it's just fucking better. They, it's just they big, you, big you watch Italian. Them, it is better. Yeah. You watch them shave the gray meat hunk onto your yeah. <laughs> stale bread, yes. and it's yeah. better. I, I love how unapologetically fake their ham. It's just in a it's just a it's gelatinous a cube, cube, and they just cube. and they're like, "Fuck you, it's fresh though." And you're yeah. like, "Yeah, I guess and that." Every and every ham sandwich you've ever had was cut off a thing. Oh, like I, that. I, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it's that post Christmas ham sandwich, and everyone gets to be fake choosy at a Jersey Mike's too, because you'd be like, "Oh, not Mike's way. I want to get it exactly like Mike's way, but just yeah. not the the oil and vinegar on it." Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want the oregano ever on my fucking. I see, sandwich. I want everything. Oh, but dump the, the shit on there. I want everything. Dump the but shit. The yeah, salt. I, I fuck with the oregano and the salt, the pepper. Shit. Give that. me a heart attack. I don't Take have me out this of this relish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I only got regular. The stuff cherry pepper relish. That's the that's the fucking cheat code. You don't you put on the cherry pepper relish. Yeah, yeah. I like a spicy sandwich. They have that at fucking Jersey Mike's cherry pepper relish. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit's changed since I've been there last. That, dude, the, yeah. game got, the game got switched. <laughs> the game got switched. Damn. Um, and number one, fucking Firehouse Subs, dude. Really? Ooh, I've never had uh, one ever. It's so good. Dude, I, you're fucking I would, gross. Oh, dude, it's so good. <laughs> I mean, crazy. Look, we're crazy. T- we're, we, are, we are talking. I'm talking about snake in the back of my mind. <laughs> oh, no. Firehouse we, I haven't good. had them, so I don't know. It has like 8 million kinds of hot sauces and shit. That's true. It's like one it, step above Subway. Yeah, I was going to say, quality. I would Ooh, I would actually I, I would flip. Like, if we're talking nationwide, coast to coast chains, I would actually flip Jersey Mike's and it's Firehouse. It's Jersey but, Mike's you know, and it's everything I, I actually I actually did have Jersey Mike's. Mike's is number one, world, and then bitch. like as reading it, I flipped Firehouse because like maybe because yeah. I have fond memories of it. Okay, so I have a question about yeah. T- Tuscaloosa. You went there. Did you, the Firehouse subs in Tuscaloosa yeah. have a really fucked up mural? Yes, <laughs> okay. they all have a weird fireman <laughs> mural. Yeah, yeah, but the ones <laughs> at the SEC because the one in Auburn was disturbing yeah uh so they had you know it's football town right so they want to like support the team so they had the auburn tigers tiger uh who was sort of like cartoony killing all of the other mascots which were rendered as real animals so instead of the fun like even if it wasn't this instead of the fun like big al like elephant from uh from Alabama. It was just a real elephant that was being like roasted spit style over a grill. Oh my god! Like the tiger was just brutally killing all of the other mascots from the SC, the SEC, and you're just like, this restaurant's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, Man, I don't know. I actually want to be a patron. I have to imagine the franchise was owned by the same people. Did the did, did the Tuscaloosa have a weird one? Surely, like that? I mean, yeah. I mean, well, it was all like you know. You know, a fireman's job isn't hard, is very hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, just toast my eggs up. Dude, I've seen was, things you wouldn't believe. Yeah. Yeah, we've cheese? seen horrors. I've like seen cheese? babies on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen attack ships over the course of a <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, tears in the rain, baby. Tears in the rain. Uh, you know what? I fuck it. I switch it. Jersey Mike's is number that's, one. I Jersey mean, Mike's is the best one. Peer pressure. And I did. It, 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 it gave it. I gave into it. And I did eat there this afternoon. And I've shit four times. Good God. <laughs> but it was very good. It was very good. You're mostly eating sub sandwiches, are you? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> the, the 
<laughs> passion in your voice on this topic. Oh yeah, I got I got upset. <laughs> I just didn't want Subway yeah. to get in there because it's not good. No. No. The We're, thing about uh, Jersey Mike's is they do a hot sub well and they do and a they cold do the cold well. Mm, they do, I, yeah. and not many sub places can pull that off. Yeah, I do yeah. appreciate Quizno's attempt at heating up mm-hmm. stuff. But yeah. yeah. Now that said, if Publix ever became a nationwide grocery store chain, their fucking sandwiches would be number one. Like, dude, easily. I live next yeah. to one, and everyone said that, and the line is so fucking stupid that I never dude. got to have. There's one. one. <laughs> so fuck you, America. <laughs> fuck you, right in the mouth. Their chicken fingers are really yeah, good piece too. Of shit. There is a there's a Publix like a block away from my parents' house. So yeah. anytime mm-hmm. I'm home, I'm, that's my lunch every yeah. single day. Oh, I used to fuck mm-hmm. a Publix oh. hardcore potato salad, all that. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Shout out to at Nick Foppy. Thank you so much for the suggestion, and thank you so much for everyone who wrote in to our top. Top three, if you'd like to hear a top three, tweet at us at the goods pod. <laughs> Fellas, are you ready for our final segment? Oh yeah. Sure. Oh, so, More Viper? Uh, no, no. Um, <laughs> no, what what month is it on the calendar uh, uh right now? November now. Huh. Um Hmm. Uh, what is it, Dad? Uh, <laughs> What's happening? It's a little, it's a, well, Seth, nothing lasts forever. <laughs> oh, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> this is, of course, Guns and Motherfucking Roses oh, baby. with no, Cold. November, November rain. rain. That's yeah, right. This shit does roll. Uh, the epic. music video for this is fucking amazing. Nine minutes, so, and then the the bride dies at the end because yeah, she was in the rain over, and, and the yeah. cake. Yeah, and she really need to get inside quick. Slash is <laughs> playing yeah. guitar in front of the church and everything. Yep. And yes. Guitar soul moment. Oh, amazing guitar soul. And actually, uh, uh, a direct fuck you to Axl Rose, apparently, uh-huh. because he was like, I want no part of this. So he's literally just in the back smoking cigarettes in the, the church, like yeah. not doing anything. And he's Axl like, Rose, just yeah. call me when it's my time to shine. And then he steps out and... Uh, does his uh, does his this thing? This is like their fake fucking stairway to heaven, Elton John shit. <laughs> They're like, we're doing the real epic numbers now. Oh yeah, so three m- minutes of lead in, buddy. Then we'll sing the lyrics. So oh, many yeah. fucking losers are gonna be sad to this. Oh song. yes. Yeah. Yeah, well, this is nine this minutes is a, this, long. This is a divorce anthem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a long song, but some people's bad True. marriages laugh a lot. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you, you need something to fill the loneliness, and nine minutes is a, yep. is a good yep. amount of time. Oh yeah. Uh, so this is, of course, off of Use Your Illusion 1 oh, from yeah. 1991. This song, this might be the highest view count ever of anything we've ever done on here. Really? 1.9 billion views. Wow. Billion. Billion. And that's for the song or the music video? The, for the music video. Yeah. yeah. And uh, there wow. are uh, 300. That's crazy. 300 People really <laughs> still want to hear <laughs> this song. This song sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this band sucks. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, uh, you they know. got like five good songs. Yeah. And they're all on that first album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there are 316,425 comments and y'all believe it or not i found the best <laughs> how many of these did you look through oh <laughs> for too many oh um, god <laughs> that a motherfucker you think, call me. Do you think you hit a thousand and my dick feels <laughs> you hit <laughs> every great oh, right. my dick feels thousand. very great yeah, we should rewrite those lyrics <laughs> Uh, for, <laughs> I just like the idea of the demos. Like, and the pee pee pussy pants hole. And like, Come to fix them later. So let us now dive into these 300,000 plus comments uh, in oh, the YouTube yeah. video for Guns N' Roses November Rain. First up, Casper Giovanni from five <laughs> years ago. Ooh. Mm. An Italian ghost. <laughs> I think one night drunk, I passed out three times to this song and never missed a beat. Well, and, and everyone knows. <laughs> that's impossible. I don't, I don't know. Well, what, what if he means. woke up at the exact time that's, that he left off? That's what I think he means. I think he passes out until it gets epic, and yeah. then he wakes up, and then he goes back to sleep. <laughs> he yeah, he's like, well, then. now I have, <laughs> I have eight minutes uh, to sleep until I wake <laughs> up again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Depression. Yeah, he's just doing that all day. Uh, <laughs> micro sleeping. Yeah, <laughs> micro sleeping. Uh, David S. from five years ago. Hi, everyone. Please go grow slash buy some weed and smoke it. Smoke weed every day. Right. <laughs> Just to be clear, Agreed. if you're upset about Public marriage, service announcement. You shouldn't even listen to this song. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> oh. It's like, I think you're I think you're looking for the 311 comment section. <laughs> <laughs> this is the November rain, That's everyone's right. drunk section. Oh. Uh, this guy has some notes. Uh, King Oso from two years ago. <laughs> what, about, <laughs> what about December snow? It is the second part. Santa is drunk with hookers and elves. Crash that cake, and then Axel hits the bride with an ice ball. 
Things got crazy, but Slash does his solo again, except it's with an icicle guitar. Whoa. <laughs> Who is this Jeez. failed mad TV writer? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Just just swinging a miss. <laughs> Woo. He's like, I got nowhere to put these ideas. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> what if? Your it's uncle like keeps they... talking about December snow or something. <laughs> I don't know. I think right very <laughs> clever. He typed it out on the internet the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Zero likes. He believes it. He really believes it. <laughs> Zero likes. <laughs> <laughs> Two followers. Uh, <laughs> both YouTube. Who both porn bot accounts. That's right. yeah, yeah. Uh, we didn't have the heart to discourage him from going to those open mics. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, there's that, there's that solo. Uh, Scott Allen from four months ago. It rained in November, but I got drunk and cheered myself up. Married a stupid wife. Oh, <laughs> just God. kidding. I did get drunk, though. Scallywags. Uh, he's like, just kidding. I love you. She's fast <laughs> <out there>. <laughs> <laughs> I really do love you, you know. <laughs> uh, Sad. This one is uh, this one's kind of cute. Uh, the fucked up ones from ten years ago. <laughs> I remember being about seven and making a hat just like slashes out of paper mache <laughs> and trying to <laughs> trying to play along with my tiny electric guitar. Life's ambition: find a hat like his and learn everything he has played. And after that, fuck it, you can kill me. <laughs> oh, so okay, this guy cool. has a finish line. Yeah, I like uh, that. That's easy. cool. Yeah. Need Slash's I mean, hat. It's and good Slash has accomplished so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah really. Well, yeah. Snake, snake, pit, snake, pit, snake Pit. That other band. Was he in Velvet Revolver? I think he might have been. <laughs> yeah, so, he was. So far, it's been somewhat, you know, I mean, I haven't heard any like a, Dear Deborah, you have sucked the will to live out of my life. <laughs> really, yeah. So I dedicate this song to our unborn children. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you wouldn't fuck on a Tuesday. Well, Carter, you might have uh, you might have spoken too soon. Oh, dear. Uh, except oh, this is from this is always. from the uh, the fairer sex's uh, perspective. Olivia Hoot from four months ago. <laughs> Once I found out this was on my ex-boyfriend's playlist, along with the skank he was cheating on me with for two years while I worked, I couldn't bear to listen to it. Now, shoot, I'm back, loving, jamming it. Whoa. Them, them two pigs were made for each other. Who wants a loser, <laughs> thief, and a liar? Skank did me the biggest favor by throwing herself at him, and I was never worried. I thought he had taste. Ha, <laughs> LOL, yeah, for a doorknob. Ooh. Shout out. You go, girl. Hey. Yeah. You suck on that, idiot. Olivia Hoot. Hoot. Oh, I love it. Drunk and alone. That's <laughs> right. Some but I'm back say. now. It's like when getting kicked off a horse. You're like, I'm fucking riding again. I'm yeah, out here. I'll back put the now. saddle back on this fucking thing. I'm not scared of this shit. <laughs> I probably should just stop. <laughs> yeah, I probably should just stop. But uh, Cheryl Faber from 10 months ago. Play this on my funeral okay. and some and some rare Tupac songs. <laughs> rare, I <laughs> want some real <laughs> the Machiavelli <laughs> tape. Yeah. 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 The, don't play Hail Mary. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't play to live and die. Hail Mary. Some rare, I not dear mama. I want B sides only. Uh, Strange combi, maybe, but so me. You cry and shout it out, and after you get it together and go on with your lives, like how I would have wanted it. Live your life to the max. Do good things, help each other, but no, live is hard and live is short. You are not the only one. Don't you think you need someone? Woo! That little part was so timed in your speech is. that that was like, yes, sir. I would play that on a loop and every morning and just do push ups. <laughs> but you just said it to the music. She's talking, she's instructing the fake goers of her funeral, like, be yeah. not be not sad about it. I love me. it. What yeah. a Dalai Lama perspective on her death. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Life begins here. Uh, D. Lucas from one year ago. I would love to get married one day. <laughs> I, I, that's so sad. Uh, I'd love to get divorced, too. Uh -oh. Well, you might be finding out in a second the reason. I would love to get married one day. I should have been married years ago, but I can't find a bitch I can trust. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that can be tough. That's I my can, dog that can right be tough, there. Buddy. He likes that Tupac rare <laughs> tracks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's kind of guy that is. <laughs> I can't find. <laughs> Sorry, a, Lucas. I can't. Find, <laughs> I can't find a bitch I can trust and would be faithful to me. But I've always wanted this to be my wedding song since I was 16 years old. Uh, I'm now 45 years old, and I don't uh, know why, uh, but I would want this to be my wedding song. I just always have such a wonderful song to me. Well, you got nice in the end. He just yeah. got sincere about it. Yeah. <laughs> not, to, not to get that into crazy. That reminds me of the comic dressed as Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not very good at dating. Uh, right. <laughs> no, yeah, you don't say. <laughs> Maybe you need to get on one of those like bitch matching services. Yeah, you know? yeah. Guns N' Roses fans. Uh, Michael Blood from four years ago. Michael Blood. So yeah. there, are, 
<laughs> Fuck it. I want to make three movies yeah. about Michael Blood. <laughs> <And> Michael Blood. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A. Indiana Jones for our generation. <laughs> Mike Blood. So there I was in a thicket of pines, deer hunting. Oh, he is Mike Blood. I had, mm-hmm. sl- I had slept in my car the night before at the Purple Onion. I just jumped in the back seat. And Purple cr- Onion. Is this Birmingham? I was thinking. There's I was like, one in Nashville. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. Bar. yeah. Somewhere in the southeast. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, I jumped in the back seat and just crashed. Luckily, I woke up to early dawn, drove to my hunting area, and wandered into the woods. Mm. Not sure what I was doing. I dropped my son off the night before I went to the bar. Oh, mm. Who remembers what happened? I don't. Anyway, I'm well, in the woods. Anyway, a man is dead now. <laughs> <laughs> Who done it? Starred me. <laughs> my life. <laughs> I'm confused. This, this is why they call me Michael. Yes, Blood. Signed, signed Mike, Mike Blood. Blood. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you got a question for my blood? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck happened. I'm my blood. He, <laughs> he, he said, sent me to do? Put my pants on like you do? He says, <laughs> he says who, remember, my mind. who remembers what happened? I don't. <laughs> Anyways, I'm in the woods waiting for a shot at a deer, and I remember this song playing on the jukebox several times before I got tossed out of the bar. <laughs> I, several times, too. No, he's like drunk <laughs> the night before with a gun. And he's playing just playing in a bush. Yeah. <laughs> he says, uh, before I got tossed out of the bar, I started crying. Anyway, I left the woods and never hunted again. My ex-wife was surely missed for many years. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? What are you talking about? What the fuck happened? His comments. I wonder what else he's commenting on. I'm going (laughs) to figure out what Mike is Further implicating himself in the (laughs) murder. How he surely murdered his wife. Yeah, 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 he's a brilliant uh, brilliant mind of murder. (laughs) He's leaving little clues all across you. I had a gun because I was deer hunting. (laughs) (laughs) The reason you didn't know where I was at, I was laying in a bush. (laughs) Rocking out to November rain. (laughs) But I I wasn't rocking out in the bush. It was actually the night before, which makes all of this <laughs> very my, confusing. I, I had to drop my son off, of course. <laughs> I wanted to get drunk and roll around on the ground with my with a gun. And what what my, if this is someone trying to frame him? Like his real name is like Michael Bledsoe or something. Yeah, yeah. But like, they, like <laughs> yeah, someone's like blood. Michael Blood my attached blood. to this email address. That's right. And who knows what happened during the yeah. hours when my wife was murdered. Yeah. Anyway, I, my wife does still exist, but not on this plane, if you know what I mean. Yeah, the wink, last wink. wink to maybe my wife's dead. Well, good night. Let's <laughs> all enjoy a song, dude. <laughs> anyway, solo. <laughs> 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 How cryptic! Jo, 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 jo. <laughs> You're like Jesus again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and finally, Tara Furman from four years ago. Tara Furman, and this is you. this is obviously all cast. How are you, Tara Furman? <laughs> this is obviously Terror Furman and <laughs> Mike Blood. <laughs> Tara Furman and Mike Blood. Uh, <laughs> this is obviously all caps. Fuck it, yeah! It's not your fault. I know Chris Angel, and I know who would do this. And you can't Whoa. stop him slash them. My Italian <laughs> ex-husband said, don't start anything unless you can't finish. I said, I finished it with divorce. His Damn. mother said, get rid of her, meaning me, and go after another young, naive one to corrupt, destroy, and ruin. Ooh. He also said, compliments of me, if the bullet hits your brain for real you, and you die... <laughs> He's Italian. <laughs> He's Italian. <laughs> Till death do us part, and even after divorce, still trying to get with me, and I, honest to God, hate him, and he is evil unseen. He's <laughs> <laughs> unseen. You are evil unseen, my man. <laughs> my eyes are straight closed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see it. I know it's I, here. <laughs> he, sent, he sent three deer for my mother to hit with her car. He sent, he sent three, three, three out of the woods so to go he beat is, a car he is, somewhere. He is a <laughs> get run over by this motherfucker. <laughs> no, three blocks, take a right of Italian. A, he's a woodland whisperer, <laughs> an yeah. Italian, just like, hey, Fuck. you know, get these uh, these deer. So I, I can command them to uh, run. Or he's like talking to like a like a, a bunch of deers hurtled around a rock, yeah. like standing on a rock. All right, go fellas. jump out in front of the road in front of this motherfucker. He's wearing a suit. Nice. He's is what we gotta suit. do. He's got a toothpick in his mouth. We're to scare him good. You really, you really, really. And then, yeah, so three deer for the moment hit the car. Good work. The Italian job has ruined my family. I love that's what she calls her ex in the laws. The Mark Wahlberg the Italian, the Italian job. job. <laughs> co-starring most this have. video cassette destroyed our family. <laughs> she says, <laughs> all our Mini Coopers are gone. <laughs> <laughs> we rented this movie and it all went to shit. She says, <laughs> she says, I got shot and walked around for five days living Whoa. alone like a zombie at the hotel we were staying at. <laughs> I, I heard someone say, dead man walking. <laughs> About her? Uh, I guess. <laughs> oh, that is... That is her. 
<laughs> America. Oh, Still not well. Uh, <laughs> what a voice to get famous and, on. And these people are... Yeah. Mm, so all, all, some of them will be voting next Tuesday. Good to know. Oh. Uh, and that is Yikes. Guns and Roses Woo! with November Rain. Welcome to November, y'all. Oh, so good. Seth, where can people find you on the internet? <laughs> you can find me uh, on Twitter and Instagram as Seth Pomeroy. And uh, what's the other thing? Oh, yeah, Letterbox. It's Seth Palm, uh, P-O-M. Hell yeah. There I am talking about movies and shit. Carter, where can people find you online? Twitter and Instagram at Carter underscore Glasscock. Sam, where can people find you? Twitter, Slam Harder on Instagram, Sam Harder 666. You can catch me at the Lucky Luke Brewing Company here on Friday, whatever day that is. <laughs> Hell yeah. Unless this podcast is out later than that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't catch that, but I just flexed on you with my show. Uh oh. Luke Damn. Brewing Company. What low? In Palmdale, motherfucker. Palmdale. <laughs> what low? Afro Man's home, home yeah. turf. Yeah. I just went yeah. hiking in Palmdale the other day. They're, they're saying that Afro Man is not going to be there. Oh, there okay. Is, that is advertised. <laughs> yeah, but he, he will not be You want me to come to the show? I think yeah, it should fibble. He little. will be doing stand up at the Drunken Stoner. <laughs> yeah. There is. I will be doing stand up with the Drunken Stoner. This oh, is oh. another one of his. Oh, I was talking about shows. Afro Man, but Fuck yeah. Yeah. There is going to be weed. There is going to be beer. There is going to be whatever. Sponsored by Hurricane Labs, H Labs underscore 2020 on Instagram. <laughs> They're my personal sponsor, too. <laughs> they are. They are. They are. They're why they are. I'm high right now. Yeah. Nice. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at Rivers Langley. Uh, come see me on Wednesday night at Quesara, Bear City Comedy in Long Beach, California. And then on December 22nd, Saturn in Birmingham, Alabama, Joe Rains, Wes Van Horn, and I bringing you a night of food and music. 15 bucks, dinner and a show. Come out and see us. Yellowhammer makes its grand return to the Yellowhammer State. You can find us on Twitter at The Goods Pod. The best way to support the show, patreon.com slash The Goods Pod. Second best way to support mm-hmm. the show, head to Apple Podcasts, mm-hmm. rate, review, you and subscribe show that attitude of gratitude because if you do not have the attitude of gratitude daddy we will call you a coward for not smoking crack the goods from the woods was recorded and edited by me rivers langley you can find our show on twitter at the goods pod our theme song was composed by jonas the space cowboy this was a brain freeze podcast <laughs>